Who's on here? Hi. Well, it tell us. We're here. Yeah. Uh -oh. I don't know. I gotta figure out. Live chat. The live. Hello. It looks so different on an iPad. Oh, but I could probably go to that. Do you have to set it up? Who knows? We're not. Two thumbs up. Three thumbs up. Thanks. But only one person. I don't understand. Oh. Hey, hi. hi. Oh, hello. Oh, there's. Yeah. Oh, it was like delay. delayed. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, yeah. 15, 17 people already. Yes, we live. Hi. I don't like. Oh, I don't like this working. talk. I don't like this chat because it, it disappears. Oh, oh, no, you can move it. Yeah, you can move it. Okay. It only took us two tries to, to get it started. This so. took forever. <laughs> it was quite the stressful uh, ordeal to try to figure out this versus Instagram. Yeah, this is easier than uploading videos. Yes. And making them. From Wisconsin. That's close to where I'm from. Hey, Harma Marsh. How do you say your name? Forget. Boston Terrier. I, I see Boston. it. Missed. Oh, the haze. From Wisconsin. Tom, Paul, oh, hi. Yeah. Sherry. I try. I was gonna do this on on IG. I'm there most. I know. <laughs> they go anywhere. I'm literally in the same spot. <laughs> Just less here. Come here. Oh, look it. There. I think I know who that is. Who's that? <laughs> it's Alex. Oh. <laughs> How's Dexter? Love from Connecticut. Miss your videos. See, I think this is why you're gonna have to like look. I think it's gonna be easier. I know. To maybe look I'll pull mine up. Take a Henry's mom. Love your babies. All right. Let's see. Bear with us. For learning. That light's gonna. Where is man's go? I had big enough. Turn it off. Okay. So, where is Manzuko? I have an idea. Ninja and Sushi. Uh, we can show you in a little bit. They're here. Yeah, they're all here. It's not right here in my office, yes. which is not very big. No, there's only three I here. that I have this. Oh, cool. awesome. We're <laughs> lighting. Hello, Diorman? Dior Diorman? Roby. Hi there. Hello from Indianapolis. Hello, Carolyn. Hello, hello. We didn't really have a topic. This was super impromptu. Just like decided, like yes. <laughs> well, first it was like I'm gonna, I'm just gonna go live on Instagram. And then I was like, let's just do it on YouTube. Yeah. So here we are. Missed here. And you're gonna watch us like not do this well. <laughs> I thought there was a way. <laughs> so gonna See, go that's on? better. Like if I can just it's yeah, it's because it's the reflection. Yeah. Right? If like, I can, if all I have to do is like tip it a little. Like, put it I'm higher. here from VA. Where's VA? Uh, Vermont? From, yeah, I think so. Hello from Chicago. It's, Hello, Naomi. like, I'm not smart. Ottawa, Canada from Rebecca. Hello. Hi. Because <laughs> you're so close to the camera. I'm trying to, like, touch Shade it Tree Army sent me here. Yes. That is a thing. Welcome. Welcome. Tennessee, Kinsley. Hi. Like, did it just send you here? Or, like, wasn't that a long time ago? <laughs> Hi, sorry about the movement. <laughs> it will stop soon. VT is Vermont. What's VA? What is VA then? Virginia? I don't know. I told you I was stupid. Get lost. I can't see anybody's chat. I don't know states. I found out that uh, Oklahoma was a state yesterday, so states are not my strong suit. Harmar. By the way, this is Alyssa. Hi. If you guys didn't know. I'm from Canada. Which is don't. Virginia. Most don't. Yeah, most on Instagram do. But not everybody on YouTube. We haven't been up here yet. Since. I haven't even shown my, my office. <laughs> here it is. <laughs> We're in it. It's got oh. it's got a lot of things in it. Back if you're gonna tilt it that far up. I have, like to get the light out. It's That's as fine. As good as I can get it. Keep it weird, y'all. Well, you know. Absolutely. As always. <laughs> oh, that's better. Much better. Remember, I'm still a, I'm still a, a light Nazi. Nazi. No, Nazi. Nazi. 
Noe Toes says hi. Kinsley sent a smiley face. Ariel said hi from New York. Hello from Florida. <laughs> hi, Alyssa. Hi. What is the sound? What's the sound like? I don't. I yeah. Uh, I don't know. I maybe I can. Can you guys even on. actually hear us? I guess you can because you. Oh, it's still late. It's clear, I, but yeah. it's still late. Okay. Let us know. Why won't this stay? I think that's the point, so you can actually see yourself. Hey, it's part of the reason why we're doing a live is what just is happened this, behind. <laughs> this, uh, I wanted to see new friends in the room. Whatever. Today. I might just have to watch it myself. Nice office, says Tom Edwards. Thank you, Tom. Robert says the sound is good. Cool. Oh, baby. I'm watching myself in a delay. This is is this Inception? Okay. Whatever. <laughs> I'm just going to leave Mine's it. black. My huh? Screen, my screen's black. Oh. But that's okay. I'm here for the comments. Smith Falls, Ontario, in the house. Hi, Jess. Always nice to see you. That's from Usta. U Usta? Usta? I hope I read that correctly. Hi. There is dogs. Yes, there is dogs. This is Creeper. <laughs> Posing all nice. Good Hi. boy. Hi, Papa. There's three this dogs is, in here. Yeah, this is a new one. This is Miss Nova. This is my dog. Noah said yes, a vid. I mean, kinda, right? It's not. Hi, it's something. It works. Adorable. Cute. Oof. In a while, you and Shaved Tree Surgeon are not together. Question. No. No. It's been a while from that. <laughs> it's been over a year. Oh, well, over a year. Well, Dexter, Lila Grimm, Zuko, I don't remember cats. We definitely have added to the collection since then. Oh, yeah, I know you. Uh, yeah, that's also why we're kind of like, let's just do a live and see what happens. Yes. We know everybody comments and stuff, and there's just. There's what questions. would you say is the most beginner-friendly dog breed that you have had? That I've had? A lab. A lab. No he toes is mind blown. Why? What is the Boston Terrier? Oh, oh, for that. Do you still ride motorcycles? Yeah. Not a lot. But they're very busy. <laughs> yeah. Very busy. I haven't actually made it, like, I haven't shown it at all, but I actually got my history, uh, the Speedmaster back. Third Eye Six said, yo. Hey there. Um, so what the Boston Terrier? Wait, Where's the Boston Terrier? Sorry, where are the Boston Terriers? They're in the other room. They're here. Still existing. Still being crazy. Where have you been, my love? From Amy C. Oh, <laughs> here, I'm still here. On Instagram, more <laughs> ish. It's just a not the faster to produce on Instagram. Faster yeah. interactions as well. Want to see the Boston Terriers? I know, everybody does. There, here, look, here's one. <laughs> nice <laughs> yeah, a nice, a nice picture on there. They're definitely still here. We just have three in here right now. Yeah, I'll switch, we'll switch out in a second. She's missed you. I've missed being on YouTube as much. I do. I really do. What was the name of the park in your last video? Great. That was Elf. The last one? Elfaya. The parking. No. Hiking. Oh. With Grandma. Oh, the video. The, yeah, yeah, that was the Elfaya River over here. How old are the babies? Which ones? <laughs> that was weird. Then Grandma wants to get in. Oh. Best remedy for the reverse sneezing on um, Bosties. Uh, reverse sneezing happens in all dogs, and it depends if it's from regurg or just regular reverse sneezing. But that usually just revolves itself, resolves itself. Reverse sneezing is just backing stuff up out of their throat. She's eating her shoes. Noe said, sorry about asking, and Kinsey oh, said, care. love your Boston Terrier. No worries. How old is Zuko? Ask whatever you want to go. Just turn two, actually. In January? Mm -hmm. I have 
thought there was not going to be a video. What do you mean? Thanks. <laughs> You're welcome. Okay, what do you mean not going to be a video? I lost my very best interior at the end of January. Oh, no. That's sad. That Sorry. is very sad. Oh, yeah, Amy, I did, actually, you know what? I did see that. I did. I think I saw that comment before. I'm sorry. Itchy? It's enough. She be in school. It's her collar. <laughs> still have Poppy. Oh, the cat, yes I do. He would not do, he, he won't go anywhere. <laughs> he, he can't. He's here. Mm -hmm. And spoiled. Thank you, I'm empty. Oh, I can't imagine. I mean, I've got four if you want to pick one. <laughs> <laughs> Who's the most stubborn out of all the animals you have? Oh, well, I think everyone's stubborn in their own way. I think the most frustratingly stubborn one though is Dexter. He he goes deaf. He goes he he goes deaf very quickly when you try to yell at him or talk to him about like getting his side or, <laughs> or yeah. He's well, just, and he's also very stuck stubborn. in his ways as well. Yeah. Yo, hard. He, he pushes to try to get get what he wants done like hard. I do the same. <laughs> what? Oh. <laughs> Push to get what I want. Where is Layla? She's here as well. All the Bostons are kenneled right now. Because we're in here, the big dog, there's a couple big dogs loose out there. Who is the most cuddle of all your cuddly of all your animals? All the animals? I don't know, they all <laughs> Probably my oldest cat, Kisa, and then uh, Lila is actually, Dexter, actually Dexter's very, is, yeah. he's an ass, he but oh, he's very to cuddle. Cuddly. How? He's very good at it, too. He's very, he goes, he knows exactly how to get, like, in a bed. Um, so it said Zuko is my favorite. What do you use your, to dye your dogs for? Okay, so. Oh, that's you, yeah. This is me. This is Nova. So this is called Opaws. It's spelled O-P-A-W-Z. It is um, a vegetable glycerin base. It's made for dogs, and um, they have semi-permanent and permanent. You can actually get it on Amazon, and um, it falls out with the dog's hair. Uh, she's, <laughs> what are you doing? She's a hypoallergenic breed. She's a wire-haired pointing griffon, so um, it stays in her hair a lot longer than a lot of other breeds because her hair doesn't necessarily fall out, like she doesn't shed um, very often. So it stays quite a long time, doesn't it? You see yourself in the camera? Oh, thank you. Okay. <laughs> All right. I have a Boston Terrier named Lexi. Cute. What up? Hello, cheeseburger. Blank Canvas said, Floki. She will talk about Floki when she gets back in. Kaya Will Garcia. Is Dexter bit mixed? He is not mixed. He is a purebred uh, Boston Terrier. Just born with a tail, which is rare. Uh, Kinsley said, "Ah, oh, Joseph, what are you drinking tonight? Red wine. That's what we're drinking tonight. Any advice on purchasing dogs purebred? Uh, yeah, absolutely. Um, making sure you, well, first talking to a trainer. That is uh, my first step. I'm a dog trainer. Um, but talking to a trainer is the first step of getting any new puppy in your life and researching breeds that will fit your family, your lifestyle, things that match up with what you desire in a dog. Um, and then from there, when you actually start looking for breeders, <laughs> looking for um, a breeder that health tests, so they're actually going and getting documented proof from specialty vets, not their average vet on you know, hips, eyes, heart, any conditions that are predominant in those breeds. Um, and making sure those parents score highly on those tests. Um, and you can also reach out to, there's lots of Facebook groups about finding good breeders. There's lots of um, trainers you can reach out to that will help you advise on stuff like that. There's lots of uh, resources to find quality breeders. Is that an office chair for bikers? Cool. Yeah, <laughs> basically. Um, is Dexter mixed? He is not. He's not mixed. I mean, I've never genetically tested him, but no. Uh, just because he has a tail does not mean that he's like, 
doesn't necessarily mean that he's mixed. Uh, it's just a uh, it's a fault in his in the standard. Like obviously he could be a show dog, but there's a lot of dogs that really would never be a show dog as far as the, how they look. How do you get a dog potty trained fast? Uh, there is no fast remedy to most behaviors, especially potty training a puppy. Uh, patience is the biggest key in progress. Uh, I think a kennel is bigger. <laughs> and the fastest. Yeah, yeah, that's the fastest out of that's all of them. That's the answer. <laughs> yeah, kenneling and getting a routine going. Hey, no. Uh, a routine and a kennel is probably the fastest, but patience is the key. And consistency, getting on a schedule. <laughs> using it as a mirror. I know, I keep using it as a mirror too. I'm like, ah! No. My Boston Terrier is purebred. Awesome. Uh, Amy C, thank you. Noah, yeah, I have a Boston too. John said, hi, hi, John. Kensley, I love your dogs. Amy said, agreed. And John said, how's Gunner? Who's Sharon Gunner? Um, he's really good. He's, like I I follow the guy's Instagram, so like we definitely both actually do. We see him He's a really Austin. nice dude, and he really loves Gunner. They are. They're always like on the couch together or out at the beach oh, or running around. Oh, yes, Gunner. I think um, the last time I recently spoke to him, he was uh, working on trying to get Gunner trained to go on the jet ski with him at times, we'll which is, <laughs> we don't know how accomplishable that, that is. I would never. <laughs> no, it's scary. But um, he really loves that dog, and he's that dog's really happy. Delaying, y'all. Uh, wouldn't say got rid of Gunner. He was he was rehomed to a home that better fit him. You know, it wasn't like he was undesired here. It was just he needed a different lifestyle that fit him better, and that was someone who had the time to do all these adventure stuff for some some dog with a high high energy. But it's more just that I put out the field the. I just attempted to see if there was somebody else out there that was going to be able to work with him and wanted an older dog, like not a puppy. And it happened, like, he, it's a friend of a friend, that's how it all happened. It wasn't like a, just a random stranger. Like, it was a very, very good friend. It was actually uh, Zuko's Breer, her, like, it was a, it's a really good friend of hers that has him. Yeah. Um, have you seen the purebred versus inbred meme? So cute. Yeah, I think. I have not. Maybe not. I've, we've, I've, we've seen the like the Great Valley version. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. I wanted to say, or Amy said I wanted to pop in and say hi, but I have to go back to studying ortho. I have an exam tomorrow. Good luck on your exam. See you later. I'll put out a video, I swear, of Boston's. <laughs> Too cute. Where's Dexter at? He's still here. He's in a kennel. Jessica is so freaking cute. So are her Boston's. Which one is Grimmy? That one. Grim. Ice cream. He's gonna get mad that Creeper's looking at him. Just like, stop kissing. Stop uh, Amy said, thank you, please do, as in put a video out soon. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the German Shep. Yep, two of the German Sheps. German Shepherd, okay, Night Grim. <laughs> oh, there he is. Part of the video, Grimmy? Oh, it's hard to tell. That was See, it. On video, I'm sure it is kind of hard to tell the difference, but in person, they look very different. <laughs> uh, do any of your animals have health issues? Sure. I mean, allergies. I live in Florida, so it's very common. Um, but it's like, like nobody has anything like super crazy or chronic. Well, like, I'm getting there, but. <laughs> um, it's not been on, on YouTube yet. Oh, that's right. Yeah. But the dogs know. Besides like Rolo, which I haven't talked about, I guess, on here, or much, because we don't really know what it is, but he has, Rolo is Zuko, is one of Zuko and Lila's puppies, which I think that might've been like one of the questions earlier about where are the puppies. We have one still, He's he turned a year old actually in January with Zuko, uh, turned, well, he turned two. Um, Oh, I'm getting distracted. But he was, I think he was one of the last puppies born in the litter, and he's the only one that has a strange, like, head tilt 
possibly like neuro issue, which is why I actually still have him. It's because I wanted to, I needed to like see how he was. I wanted to just make sure like, he was okay. Yeah, I don't want to like rehome somebody that, uh, t like a puppy that was going to be a huge medical issue. Um, so yeah, but he's here. He's fine and he thrives. He's totally fine. He just has a head tilt. And he does the weird pee pee dance when he's in his cage or like and a strange... music place. Yeah, it's strange. He's very strange little dog. He likes but... to move his feet to music. Yeah. Um, I mean, it's not really something you can medically go in and test super crazy unless you're going to pay like the $25,000 for a CT. And it's just like, that's <laughs> it's a lot of money. And... It's fine. He's, he doesn't need all, like, it's, he's not in a dire situation where he needs that and Bo taken. And he's just going to live his life and enjoy it. <laughs> Uh, oh, it's hard to tell between them. Yo, yo, yo. How many Bostons do you have now? There's four. Uh, how are your dogs doing? Yeah. Yep, four. <laughs> how are the dogs? They're, they're good. They're itchy. They are. Pollen. It's bad. Uh, okay, now I remember Gunner. When he left, bird dogs need to roam. Yeah. Yeah. I like the Lila goes to Pet Mart, PetSmart and gets grimy boots I always love. Oh yeah, that, that's a good video. <laughs> that was nice. um, how many dogs do you have? Ah, good question. This is the one we were waiting for. This is this <laughs> is the content we were okay. waiting to produce I guess tonight. How many, how many dogs we might have. Yes, I would love um, to see how many people think we I guess a number. <laughs> um my golden hey, team stories. Jim Jamin said, hey Jess, Ariel said eight, John said seven. We're getting close. Any other guesses? Yeah, what do we have? Nine? We have nine dogs. It's right nine. Now. It's nine. There's nine dogs in the house. I do not own nine dogs. And it's okay, it's, this is very temporary. Yes. <laughs> yes. Very temporary number. This is not a thing. Yes. So we currently have no, nine good. in the home. Yeah. Um, not all of them are permanent. <laughs> Some are just passing through onto their forever life. Yeah, six are mine that you guys pretty much know if you've seen the videos. Because I did recently do, I did introduce Creeper, so he's there on YouTube. He's not super known like the others, but he is here and the life of the party. <laughs> Um, and then she's got Nova, her dog, when she moved in with her. And then I have a, um, we have a dachshund right now that yes. we are, that I'm kind of just working with a little bit and then possibly finding a super duper cool home for. Um, and then we got this dog over here. That we cannot that wait in, to talk about. In this crate. Oh, you can see it better. You can, yeah, so barely was, see it. Oh, so it's weird because you, the I'm looking on YouTube on my YouTube thing, and like the the uh, the angle's way bigger than what you're seeing here. Oh, you yeah. You see way more. So yeah, this ruffling kennel that's right here, this white box. There is another dog in there, and it's you like, can hear it scratching yeah, around in there. Yeah, it's quite um quite the interesting situation because it's a um it's a three year old Belgian Malinois that. Came across <laughs> in dire need of some help. Of getting the heck out of where the heck it was. And so yes. I it, it got it out of there. And so it's now here. <laughs> but it's a it's it's like it's like I took a tiger from <laughs> the zoo. And a so, caged tiger from the zoo. It's very yeah. it's very intense. It really is. It's yeah, uh, pull her out in a little bit, but not just yet. Yeah. She is not um, on the point um, to um. be with everybody else. No. Hmm. We'll get into that when we bring her out. <laughs> Which dogs have permanent teeth? All of our dogs have permanent mean? teeth. I'm so confused. I don't know what that means, but I would safely say all of them have permanent teeth until maybe Well, they're nothing's, old. first of all, <laughs> nothing's permanent. If you ask me. Zuko is hers. Yes, that is Zuko. Zuko's hers. I just work with him in sports. Um, favorite red with invisible, my favorite red with the invisible wall. I don't know what that means. Wait, I don't know where that is. Oh. Oh, oh, oh! It's the one where I think it, you're talking. I think you're talking about where we put Saran wrap at the door. 
Oh. And have the dogs, like, walk through it or jump through it or whatever and jump over it and whatever they were doing, like, react to it. I think Dexter did to do a pet smart trip. I think they're asking for him to do a pet smart trip. Um, oh, Docs and yes, um, we love those. Yes, Tom, you were very right, and that's why <laughs> when I when, we, when I found the 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 Mal, this three year old Mal, she basically was. The story basically is that she's been on a about a four foot chain her entire life, so yeah. far. So and imagine a very wild type dog breed that really should not be even available to pet owners, being chained up for the first entirety of his life and so she's she's lit she's <laughs> very she's intense lot. behaviors it's not even like we have no idea what's really gonna happen here she just no. can stay there so yeah there's no permanent decision on her yet no we haven't thought about her staying here we haven't thought about her leaving really it's this is where we're at she's just she's here for now um Bell, uh do you recommend any good boston breeders in florida yeah, um, the Canterbury, Canterbury, or is that what it is? Tails, Canterbury Tails, Boston's. Let me look it up really quick. They're a very, yeah, Canterbury, Canterbury Farms is what you would look up, or Boston's. Um, you actually literally just start, like, sloppily texting it into Google, and it will pop up, because they are actually a really amazing breeder. Um, and I, and at this, at the pet store that I, I work at, they, at the boutique, I, uh, I have regulars that have puppies from them and like dogs from them. So I've seen them, I've seen them, I've met a bunch of her, her pups and stuff as adults. Yeah. I haven't met any of them, so that Boston's are not my, uh, third I-6 as for the breeder. Uh, oh, Shell Wave 76 said Zuko's mom is hot. Snags like Lila? Or no, wait, no, Zuko's <laughs> That's not her. Um, how do you get a dog to play fetch? Uh, it definitely varies from dog and what they desire, but I usually just start by teasing them with a toy, getting them really excited, and throwing it short distances, and then if they get it, they get really excited. If they bring it back, I get even more excited, and turn it, just turn it into an actual game rather than, like, go get something. Um, if your dog's not excited for the object that you want them to play fetch with, don't make sure that they don't have access to it all day long either. So balls are for fetch typically and whatnot. So like there's never balls like hanging out, like chunk it balls are never really free just on the floor for dogs. Unless I'm trying to pacify those crazy dog. Yeah. <laughs> um, he has balls in his mouth all the time. So, but otherwise like, yeah, if, you, if they have access to certain toys all the time, they're not, a lot of dogs are not going to really care for it in like an interactive play, so. Yeah. Yeah, personally with my pointer over here, she wasn't too keen on retrieving um, as a young dog and my approach with her was very different than a lot of approaches I use. Um, it really varies on personality. Um, withholding that toy, except for exciting times, like when you're actually gonna play with it, uh, is a great start. And then working with the particular dog in front of you, I know some dogs get it naturally. Some dogs. Yeah, what kind of dog do you have? Yeah, that, that's a more detailed answer. I Maybe mean, if you have a shoe suit, good luck. <laughs> Some like it, I get it, some of them do, but you know. Yeah, it's they're not predisposed to loving it. Um, it's been a long time since you've been back on here. I know. TTJ Big Gunner. Whoops. Yep. Um, and then Harmar said, my brother's Malinois, seven months, used my arm as a chew toy. She was Harry Wire. Mm -hmm. Luckily, she's not a puppy Malinois, so we have yet to been uh, chewed on. <laughs> I would actually prefer... <laughs> If it, she was a super mal, like, give me the malviest puppy mal right now. Give me the most vocal in the Yeah, cow. I don't care. Like, you know? Not that, like, I'm just saying, because this is going to be quite the journey. How short or long, I don't, we don't know yet, but, like, it's still, it's been quite the journey. Um, and then Kinsley said, cute, and Third Eye Six said, thank you so much for recommending the breeder. Um, Ariel said, how did you all get into training? You had oh, first. Lord. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, you know, I don't like, if you've seen any of my past videos, you know, I don't like to be like, I'm a dog trainer, because 
eh, it's a lot. It's a lot of um, responsibility, in my opinion, especially with the content you produce. Oh, I mean, I train my own dogs, like I said, but um, it's hard to like be super duper available for everybody else as well. I try to, in a sense, but that's why also the content, like putting out videos that just show stuff, kind of like is my way of being able to just. This is how I do it. If you wanna know, watch. Well, that's what you prefer. Mimic, and that's how. That's honestly how I've really learned a lot of stuff. But I'm still uh, every day learning. Is like just watching people and studying body behavior and dogs behavior and movement and stuff like that. And you mimic it. I mean, it's really the, the best way to do stuff is to mimic, <laughs> mimic it. So, uh, but I started when I like uh, I was working. Oh no, I had a school. I was at school and I started with some service dog work. And then um, I went to a shelter. That was the biggest blow up of it. Mostly is like working at the local, the local shelter here. Yeah, I going from there, and then I took more of a turn in the vet tech world. So, which all, knowing dog behavior and training was help, very helpful in that field as well. What about you? Oh. I might have to leave you if you want to tell your whole story. I know. Oh, um, I'll go so, get another bottle. Of I wine. know. <laughs> so, uh, pretty much this little dog over here is what I've, I've always been involved with animal, animal, animals. I've always been cannibals. involved. Cannibals. <laughs> um, like cannibals. <laughs> I started with animals very, very young. Uh, I always liked dogs. Always was the kid that asked to pet every dog I saw. Um, Which now we both would hate that kid. <laughs> And yell at that kid now. Stop it. It's, yeah, don't let your kids do that. Um, I, I grew up like that. Uh, we had lots of working dogs actually growing up. Uh, my, my parents weren't well versed in work, working dogs. We actually would get fully trained working dogs. And um, that was always really intriguing to me as a kid. Um, we had a guard bull mastiff growing up. And that was what, I think that's the dog that really sparked my interest in actual behavior. Not just being around dogs, but like, how did they work? She was, um, she was trained in guard work, but she was trained in that because she actually did have a tendency to be aggressive with strangers. So got into all that, grew up, kind of got out of it, didn't really pay attention to it, wanted to be a therapist. And then... Um, you did? Yeah. Oh. I wanted to be a therapist for forever. And now... Uh, I, I can't, I, everything makes so much sense right now. I didn't know that. Yeah, I wanted to be a therapist. And then uh, I actually needed a service dog. And... That also ties together with being me being a therapist. So I had a, a, this little girl over here. I started training because a fully trained service dog is very expensive, and I couldn't afford that. So I started diving into videos, looking at stuff, getting resources, talking to people, asking questions, meeting people, and training my own service dog. And then, luckily, I no longer needed her very quickly, and she worked for about two years. And then we ended that, and. I, it opened my eyes to actually really wanting to get in training, and we met somewhere in that area. Yeah, you know that's actually, how we met. I have a, I have a couple of videos on here where, um, where I talk about how like Grim, what he started to become my own service dog for myself. Yeah. For the stuff that I needed back in back then, uh, not so much now. He's definitely like not living that life anymore because I've I've de I've I've changed. I've had you know. I've had some good stuff happen to where I'm sorry if you can hear the grumbling. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Two children are playing on the floor. But, um, so yeah, I, I basically kind of like retired him, I guess, and then. But before that, for that that year or so, <laughs> that's how I met her. Yeah, we met on, on Instagram. Yeah, on Instagram in a dog training group, mm -hmm. and then we started talking, and we started. Being, All right, that's hey. enough. We're not wrestling right now. Um, we started talking more and more, and uh, got I got really into it. We started sharing content with each other, started uh, kind of becoming friends, and then really <laughs> dove into... So these questions are funny. Go ahead and finish. <laughs> got really into training and um, constantly still learning. Every single day in our, in our house, there is dog podcasts and working dog podcasts and YouTube videos and trainers' voices echoing through the house all the time. Um, so I got into it because I had a dog in front of me that I really enjoyed training that now has, you know, four, four titles, um, that I did by myself because I enjoyed it. And then I started helping people and I was like, wow, this is really for me. And that's where I'm at. Still learning, still loving it. Still a journey.
Hey. <laughs> Did you hear that? that She's so ugly. much. Oh that was so grim. That was ugly. Very ugly. Grim's very All right, let me catch up on all these comments. Wait, there's one. There's one question that's pretty funny. So, yes. who's better with dogs, Jess or Caesar? So, <laughs> I'll answer that one. Caesar. <laughs> he is. I'm actually a huge fan. Everybody has. Um, Enough. Everybody has bad. PR and also bad uh, bad days and bad ways of training. Or bad even just sessions. Yeah, 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 exactly. So, but he's also done, like, and I didn't, I liked him from the beginning, so I don't even, it's not even like, well, he was so terrible back then, but now he's changed. It's like, but he wasn't everybody's cup of tea back then, for sure, but he definitely helped a lot of cats and dogs, or dogs, I don't know why I said cats. <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah, no, he's still very much... I don't have time to be better <laughs> right now. I'm all right. I'm good with my dogs, and like you know. And that's what that's what makes Jess happy. That's what her focus yeah, I don't is. Need, yeah, yeah. But he's bad. He's he's got way more practice under his belt. He's he's older. <laughs> <laughs> I met I've met him actually. I've met him, and he's I saw one of it. He did uh, um he did a thing. Hey, can we not enough? Um. I went to one of his show. I don't know what you call it, a show, not a performance, but he's he's actually also really funny. Um, and there was like shelter dogs there that he worked with like immediately and they were all, and everybody was just amazed at what he did, so. These two. Um, and then I met him afterwards, which was kind of, which I was like, that's the first time I was ever starstruck, which is so funny. <laughs> just for, he's from Milan. My shelter, he wants nothing to do with toys. That's very typical. Shelties are like cats. They're herders. Worse. They're, they, they like to nip. That's pretty, yeah. Yeah, yeah make it move. Yeah, mm -hmm. just start. You can use a flirt pole. That's what I use to play with, you know, herding. Very immovable. Herding breeds. Um, my fiance has the wonderful Nova. habit. Enough. It's good for Nova's time. Um, my fiance has the wonderful habit of finding dogs that need to get out of where they're at. Oh, your name's John? I thought your name was going to be Alex. <laughs> Anyways, uh, that's so funny. Um, red. Question. Send her my number. Well, I'll help her with that. We all, we all do. Have, we all have a habit of um, finding animals to add to the collection of. I'll show her how awful it is to keep doing it. <laughs> um, you want vocal? Get a Siberian. No. No. Wait, what? Said so, because I said uh, I'd rather have a very loud in the crate puppy. Oh. Mama. Oh. oh. No. No. I'm good on this. That's the only dog I think I'll never invite to my board and trains, um, is puppy Siberian huskies or dogs, that Siberian huskies that have never been crated. Because it is, it's loud. <laughs> I mean, I feel like I actually, what I, I would like to, like, I would want to take on the challenge. Everybody's like, they're so vocal. It's like, yeah, they are. I get it. However, like, it's also the same, like, where they're like, well, you can never let a husky off leash because they'll run. You can never get them to well, recall, and it's like, mm. No, that's a little bit different than vocalization. I know. You can but curve people recall. try to, like, well, yeah. say that it's, like, a breed-specific, like, trait. It's like, yes, it's going to be hard, and it's going to be harder. It's going to be more work to do so. Right, but, but you can manage something without curbing it. You can, uh, mm -hmm. like, teach a husky that this, this time means quiet, this time means you can be, you know, sass back. I love uh, your so channels. There's, wait, there's a big one. Oh, you haven't gotten there yet. Uh, I, hello, I missed the videos of your pack. Is your old dog you still alive? Hardly. Which what, which old dog? I, my oldest right now is Dexter. Uh, seven? Eight? I think he just turned eight. It, well, not just, but he turns eight in September. He turned eight in September, so then I guess this time will be nine. This year will be nine. Graham, leave it. Go. Graham, go, please. Somewhere that's like blinking. Uh -huh. <laughs> she's ready to come out in a minute for sure. Yes, definitely. She's ready to be the star of the show. Nova's staring at her. <laughs> she's no. like, she's like, I'm a bitch and I'm outside your cage. Yes, Nova has already told her to stop it. Wait, which is no, a distance, no. and she listened, which is um, ideal. Which old doggy? I did. I had. There is a video on Amadeus, which was one of the old dogs on this channel, and then also Harvey. There is a updated video with Harvey on it. It's not. It doesn't. It's not titled or anything as far as that. Right. 
How could oh, Matt, you're funny. <laughs> what did Matt say? Matt to the to the Caesar ones. He said Jess is better. <laughs> uh, Karina it. said, "Yeah." How quickly can I introduce training commands to my two and a half year old working line GSD without overwhelming? Been doing heavy obedience for a month, keeping it fun. Use markers, treats, release marker. Uh, you can introduce. I mean, at that age. I mean, I wouldn't say there's any commands off limit at that age. Uh, but I would just go with this, the speed you're going, like, you know, work through things, find what's working, find what's not working. Um, the other thing I would say though, is that, um, remember that holding a dog, like holding a dog accountable throughout the day for bad behaviors is, has nothing to do with what commands you're teaching or not. Right. It, it, um, so it doesn't mean like, oh, I can't, I can't tell my dog, like I can't have my dog wait in a doorway to go out because I haven't taught that yet. Right. Just immediately rush through. So right, like, or I can't keep my dog off the couch because it doesn't know a recall yet. Like uh, all of yeah, those aren't yeah. conjoined. Um, that's structure. the different. Yeah, structure is very different than teaching obedience or bite work or sports or tricks. Um, with teaching obedience, like you're asking in that particular part, or sports or tricks or anything like that, that speed is off your dog's threshold. So if you're teaching a brand new behavior like uh, sit pretty or something like that. That threshold's going to be very different than if your dog's lunging at the door. That's an immediate curb behavior. You just you just stop that kind of behavior. Um, I definitely would. I encourage you to elaborate your question. <laughs> yeah, and if you just got it versus has it? Have you had it for two and a half years? I'm assuming that in two and a half years you've taught it no. Right. But I also I would assume that even like in oh, the last week, if that's all the time you've had it, you could you should have taught it no. No, already. no. Or some form of like. Some form of a no. knock it off command. <laughs> uh, who's better? With, oh, you already read that one. The bark. Oh, that was not nice, Creeper. Creeper. <laughs> no. This is what we. This is what. This happens. is what's. It's like living with a working one and a yeah. dog. No, but don't get invested. All right, <laughs> moving on. Um, which dog is the oldest? She answered that it would be Dexter. Dexter, I have to look back and see how old he is. Matt, um, how old is he? Are you still watching? Stop! We miss seeing you on the bike. I know this is an animal-based cha channel, but it would be cool if you throw us in some content of you on the bike sometimes. I would do that. That, that would be TTJ Big Gunner. Oh, yeah. Stop it, you two. I said, ow! <laughs> Creeper? Enough. I, yeah, I taught him owl is to bite harder. Uh, yes, Matt, shut up. My we both have them. She's wearing socks. With I know I wear socks with mine because it's cold. Ow! <laughs> Enough. So, um, yeah, I saw right. Wait, oh god, this is all over the place. And this is also, see, if you have a working dog and you want it to be a working dog, the expectations in the house are very, very different in certain ways like none of our other dogs would get away with that right. <laughs> whereas uh he definitely is allowed Stop. to uh, he's also a, showing the fuck off right now yes because we talking. also don't know if this we know the speed this three-year-old female is uh intact and also oh yeah we don't, we don't know, know if she's if she, in heat yet <laughs> yeah i don't know if she we don't know if she literally could have just gone out of heat or is about to which things seem to be pointing towards she's about to go in heat plus it's just now spring which yeah. is when a dog typically would go into heat like yeah like my female it. is getting very uh in her face when she's near her yeah. like kind of she's spayed she's, she's spayed, spayed but, but the uh, hormones are still there yeah she's very much yeah. trying to be we very dominant and uh these boys are losing their mind <laughs> just starting to uh my phone just died so i have to read the comments with you oh okay until it turns back on Okay, uh, oh wow, right, nope, whoa, so much has passed, okay, there we go. Stop. We miss seeing on bike, okay. That's not a dog, that is a floor mop. Matt, <laughs> you know what, you're the, not the only one who says that, and that is okay. She does look like a mop, but she is a lovely mop. <laughs> oh, but back to the, the bike thing, like, I have to figure out how to, like, put the, rig the GoPro on my helmet is the only thing, because, uh, you know. I didn't do that myself. We all know this. I will put my YouTube back up because my phone turned on very quickly. 
Okay. Um, I'll start. I think, I don't know, sup, hey, uh, Taz, freaking, I saw, what did you say, what did you say a minute ago? You do not have a gigapet, I know you don't, so stop it. Also, how you been? Mercy the Buzzard said, I haven't seen this channel in a year. Oh my goodness. <laughs> well, I've put, I have definitely put up a video within a year. Hey girls, how are you? How are you? I, I'm okay. Being bit by a dog right now. <laughs> Uh, I'm good. How's he's literally showing off so far? You're such a Ow! Mess. Ow! No. See, this is this is the kind of tricks I teach my dogs. Um, if you're not helping. Cooper, can you stop moving my chair at least? You guys thought the Boston's were fun. Yeah, this. Ow! He's very fun. He thinks he's really funny too. Yeah, he really does. He thinks he is like top shit. Like just. Ow! No plots. No plots. Bunnies. The line. Um, okay, vacuum. I don't know what that question means. I did! <laughs> I just vacuumed and we do have to Does do it a lot. Like we haven't vacuumed? She was in here for a good 15 minutes right before we did this. Working on reactivity, we loose leash walk with Husky Buddy who meets every dog. Ah. I started walking my GSD back and forth in front of stranger dogs on walks with redirection to me. Good or bad idea? Um, that is something that you can jump over to my Instagram for uh, to have to have more of a personalized answer. Um, I need we'd need more detail about a behavior like that to actually be able to answer it. Um, yeah. By the way, that's why I like I wanted to do this too is to get her on the channel a bit because like I do get a lot of dog training questions and like I said it's not my like it, the top like, it's what she's, she wants to do it's so, it's, it's my it's what she's doing like so she that's so now you guys can direct those you know towards her and now there is now there is a re, a source of yeah that kind of and um, I do do video available. sessions to answer questions like just like Stop. we're answering on this live I do video uh, yeah. video sessions like individual like FaceTime zoom to actually specify um, your individual dog and what you're doing, all that stuff is, um, it's personalized, so I don't want to give you a broad answer that could affect your dog without actually knowing what's going on. So you're more than welcome to check my Instagram out. It is always in her stories on Instagram, um, but it's Sorry. above underscore, above underscore beyond canines, K and the, and the number nine. S on Instagram, and you're more than welcome to DM me. Um, Matt said you had to wear the Jesus sandal. Yes, <laughs> always. Uh, do you still ride? You already answered that. I have a Yorkie and a Bichon Frise. I did not say that. Frise. Frise. I can't say. I can say Bichon. Bichon. I know the breed. I can't say it. Um, Jessica, really loved what you did for Gunner. Ever heard from them? Yes. Yeah, we, yeah, I, yeah, we, uh, I follow him on Instagram, so I see all, like, I see him, like, almost daily. On there, he's living a really good life on the beach. Um, I want to live his life. Yeah. I really so, do. It's, yeah. Um, we kind of went over that a little bit earlier, but he is in perfect hands. He's on the couch or out on the beach or some kind of just activity. Or hiking or, but he's yeah. got his own guy all to himself. So. He's spoiled, rotten, and very well loved. Yeah. Um, I saw Caesar live here where I live. He's very funny. He's so funny. Um, oh no, my working line GSD and I love the Siberian Huskies, LOL, and the greatest vocalizations. It, it's fun. It's, it's entertaining for sure to an extent. As I would far just, as living with it. Yeah. I, I, know, I, I mean, I live with this. This is what you just, this behavior that was happening is pretty annoying to most. <laughs> So, yeah, I definitely like working with Siberians. To each their own. I would probably never... You couldn't catch me living with one. <laughs> <laughs> um, do your Bostons have gas issues? Yes. BT toot so much as the yes. famous tutors. That's fun. Yeah, a roast mine to clean, clears rooms. Oh, her, her dog's gassy too. Clears oh, rooms. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Um, it's very common in any dog that has the brachycephalicer uh, short nose, underbite uh, type stuff. Alessandra said hello and I love you. Hi. 
A rose for me said for sure. I've seen your name in a long time. <laughs> That's Alex. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I have Boston Terriers, uh, Heart, and then Puppy. Alex and Matt, this is our live. Okay. Yeah, go have uh, your own live. Aren't you at work? No, stay. You can stay, but... You can watch, but... Just get me my wine on the way home. <laughs> <laughs> um, my stepbro has the same problem with his German Shepherd. Well, we encourage his. His uh, nibbling. Oh, did you give him a pacifier? Uh-huh. Um, Karina, in two to three weeks, taut strong recall, loose leash heel on and off, leash distance down, staying sit, looks great, starting to look like a little sloppy. Yeah, again, like I said. Um, Karina, are you on Instagram? Yeah. You're very, like, you're detailed. I don't know why I feel like that you should be on Instagram. GSD, an accident incident with a chihuahua, a neighbor bringing up a tree lash can, but fire under my belt with obedience. I want to teach walking backwards, leg weave, etc. And then she said, glad you're doing this with the GSD. If I ask too little, he seems to get bored, more enthusiastic when I push him, but should I solidify bulletproof one lesson before introducing new stuff? Um, I wouldn't... Is this the two and a half year old dog? Yeah. Um, like I, like I said, I don't know if you replied after I said that, but... This is a lot of stuff that is uh, individualized to each dog and needing to know more um, specifically about each dog. I do, like I said, I don't know if you caught that, I do video sessions. I do one-on-one, -on -one, hour-long video sessions where I can answer all these questions, give you advice on how to teach things or how to curb behaviors or specify things like that. Um, it's just yeah, really, get on Instagram, get on Instagram. Yeah, yeah, it's just really hard. Oh, yeah, okay, she said it will totally check out your Instagram. Perfect. Um. Oh, yeah, it's lagging on mine. Jesse, I know, right? Isn't that cool? So Talk about the new Belgian. Alex, yeah, Alex did that. It's, uh, because he's, y'all don't even know who Alex is. <laughs> no, Matt said that. No. Yep. No, I know. So I'm talking about Jesse bringing up the, the back of the wall. Oh, the dog house. Oh, okay. Uh, we'll tell you to check your Thanks. Absolutely, Karina. Uh, Creeper is full of personality. Yes, you do. Why does this keep pausing? Um, how many dogs do you have? We touched on that. We have nine in the house right now. What happened with Shade Tree? Um, he doesn't live here. <laughs> I live here. She lives here, and so does my, my husband. Oh, no. Yeah. Who's so, Alex? So that would be a little weird. You, uh, be a little weird if we all lived here. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, LOL. Uh, what is a good raw food diet? All of them. <laughs> Duh. Properly formulated. Yeah, That's pre made. It. If you're going to first start, it's easiest for if you don't know. But there, I, we, I, I, there's good websites for, for that. For sure. Um, um, go on Facebook groups, and that's going to be where you're going to find the safest info. Uh, me just spewing stuff is not going to give you like a safe idea of what to do. The so. other resource is there is um, nutrition-based veterinarians out there that will help you if you go in saying I want a raw diet, um, help you formulate. I wouldn't really start there. Yeah. They normally, they're very hard to find. The, yeah, a good one is hard to find, definitely. But yeah, there is lots of raw fed groups on Facebook, um, and they'll help well, you figure it out. And also, just to just to mention, I do feed. I regularly feed the Stella and Chewy pre-made with kibble. Yeah. And I, and I alternate kibble all the time, so I couldn't even tell you like what kibble my dogs are on. Hello. Like I don't even like a, a couple. <laughs> I mix them. So, a couple good ones, so there's that. Hello from Ohio. Hi, Ohio. <laughs> Matt said, can you explain why you trained him to bite more when you say ow? So, um, I, I feel like that's self-explanatory. <laughs> it's way funnier that It's way. funnier, <laughs> for one, and two, he is in sports, and he's got to be able to... Yeah, during training, like in trials and stuff, they don't do that, but they, in training, they do, and it helps, um, it helps encourage the biting. Yeah. You know this, shut up. <laughs> well, he's doing it to prompt you questions. That's cool. Alex is my husband. 
Yes, Jesse. The trouble with dogs is they don't last well, long. Well, you maybe you should stop keeping up with the Kardashians and keep up with the dog house and just say. Damn straight. <laughs> I'm kidding. Sorry. Of. That's all I have time for in my day is keeping up with the dog house. Um, 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 I think we I went way down. Well, We're I already, a lot. Well, we went through all that. Mm. Oh. Oh. <laughs> no, what if my dog is a cat and we just want to chat? JK. You what? I have a cat dog, but it's also a part monkey human. He is an alien. It's all about the puppy love. He's he's self pacified. Right. He just like burped in the weirdest he, way. He burped with a ball in his mouth and he just wants to be on top of mom right now. So um, he's um, chewing. Um. Why are you trying to just like oh shut up Matt? We didn't went over that. Doing your damn thing again. The trouble with dogs is they don't last long enough. I no, read that. Very true. I didn't hear it. Or we like went over it too fast. Um, they want us to talk about the new Belgian. Oh, I did learn a lot from your videos. You gave out a lot of info. Are you going to start doing muted videos? Thanks. So. What do you mean muted videos? Like when you do the um, mute the music, like Floki's bath and stuff. Oh yeah, I mean for sure. Like there's quite a few um, ideas already like stirring, and also some that I planned to do and just never got to do it. Um, but yeah, yeah, that's, I mean, if that's what you mean, just like, uh, quiet. It'll be a balance between content. Quiet, like, yeah, it's like a music video, just, um, I call it like little, ther like, doghouse therapy almost. Yeah, like that ASMR stuff, like just soothing. I really do, yeah, I like the ASMR stuff, too. Is your tongue hanging out? I'm going to keep, like, looking down either. Oh, look, like, oh, read. Um, I think that's where we're at, unless there's more. I feel like I missed one. I thought I saw something. I don't know. Also, by the way, if the internet goes out because it likes to do that lately, sorry. Yeah, can't really help there. See that they're they're Maybe going on there. Where? Where what? How many dogs? Nine. Where is that? Does that just come out? Yeah. Where? where what does where mean? There. Mm. Do your dogs sleep? Their kennels. They're yeah. all in their kennels. Do they sleep? I hope so. I do. I, I they go in their kennels and I go in my bedroom and I shut the door and hopefully they're sleeping. <laughs> Yes. yes. Where is your drink? Not really this one. It's em it's broken. My glass is broken. Babe, if you're still watching, hurry home. Her glass is broken. Uh, where is your drink? Fixed it. <laughs> I drink slower, and it, it punishes me in the long run. Yeah, don't sleep on the wine. Don't. I don't know why I brought that one. Sick pad. Thanks. Thank you. <laughs> Not good. This room has gone has done a lot. <laughs> Not good that your drink is broken. Oh, I know. Two agrees wholeheartedly. Um, damn, how hard do you have to drink to break the glass? <laughs> <laughs> I break my glasses all the time. So I guess I drink very hard. For many reasons. <laughs> yeah. Um I mean, are you challenging me or <laughs> don't challenge her. She doesn't need any more challenges. Um, I think we're getting close to that time about the well, I don't demon. Know, I feel like I've seen a lot more of wanting for Boston Terriers than I did. I know. Before. What do we want first? Do we want Boston? I feel like the girl needs to come. The the um, the male needs to come out last. So I might do the Boston's. Yeah, that's a good idea. Probably have to put these guys away for center of attention. Can yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll we'll. we'll I have a Catalua Leopard Boxer mix. She is turning eight years old in August. That sounds pretty. It sounds... Hyper. Something I've never seen before, and I'm very curious on what it looks like. You should DM me a picture on Instagram of what your dog looks like. And too hyper. Uh, I have a... Oh, eight in August, so we just read that one. I could have sworn, like, wait, missed something. I don't know. How many dogs do you always have that? What if my dog... Okay. Oh, yeah, what was the one... Oh, yeah, that's the one I was thinking about. What if my dog is a cat and we just want to chat? I understand what, I feel like there's like- There's a, a riddle. I feel like there's like something behind that question. Explain yourself. I have a Boston and my sister has a mutt. Will. A what? Germ, uh, Germ Crusher says, I have a Boston, my sister has a mutt. What kind of mutt? Someone is fishing for, f for fur, fur baby. baby pigs. I am. I want to, I want that pick of that Catahoula boxer. If you didn't hear my, uh... Is that weird? I don't, I don't know. <laughs> no. I gave you the 
Oh, I want to see this mix. I've never seen it before. I was like, can you imagine? Oh. Do you think it's like? You better have a. You better be like Meryl with a smushed face. Uh oh, Jessica kicked her dog. He bit me. <laughs> <laughs> and he'll do it again. It's obviously bothering him that I pushed him with my foot. Hi. Just got a Belgian Malinois German Shepherd German mix. Any tips? To stop the constant digging. Yeah. Get it away from the dirt. <laughs> our, so our dogs are literally outside, are never outside long enough to like think Invested. about digging. Yeah, unsupervised. Unsupervised, yeah. Um, stop enough. The but essentially, time. that's there's a that's another. Are you on Instagram? Are you on Instagram? Yeah. Yours. Do you have an Instagram? I'll wait for your answer and then I'll you can, drop my You can hand. actually, I mean, if you want to even message me on Instagram, anybody that wants to message about dog training, if, if you message me, I'll. She has send direct you, you to me. To Sometimes her. mutts are the best. Yep. Very much so. How are your Boston's eyes? My guy has cataracts. None of yours. Have cataracts. Uh, no. They're okay. Um, how old is your Boston? Leave it. Go. She's packing up in the creeper. I mean, if anything, Dexter's like nine almost now, I guess. I can't, I gotta look. I can't remember. But, so like, I wouldn't be surprised if he started to get a little blue, a little cloud, a little hazy looking. But otherwise, you know. Oh, ouch. Rescues are the best. I'm hoping that winky face is because you know that it's true. <laughs> That's very subjective. I think he's a rescue. Who? Oh, you're Boston for the age. 11. Okay. She said 11. I think he's right. Oh, for the, the, for the So, Boston. yeah, that's definitely up there. A little up there in age. Um, but that sucks. But they can do, they do fine with that. It's not. Yeah, I've had a lot of dogs. My The last dog I had was 24 when we had to put him down because he just he wouldn't go naturally and he was losing eyesight and everything. But uh, he had cataracts starting at, like, 12, and he still lived very happily until 24 with cataracts. I have a two-year-old, new-to-me female. She's a crazy Stop. small animal attraction, wants to kill squirrels. Any tips to help her pull her attention back? Yeah, check my Instagram out. Yeah. She isn't motivated. No. Uh, praise is, yeah, that's not surprising. Um, uh, try toys. But so, also, what, what uh, there has to be more context to that. Yeah. Like, what's the scenario? Is it what's a, back, it is it a backyard like? thing? That's, that's one thing. If it's on leash, you can correct it. Um, and then redirect. Yeah, it's but definitely... when they're when they're in that high drive, like or they're focused on something like that, it's hard to get them back. Says backyard. Um, again, yeah. that's one of those particular questions, particular dog. Some certain things yeah. work for certain dogs. Um, I also just like let my dogs do it because they never catch them. <laughs> like I don't care. Yeah, it, it's they're not out there much. Lo like literally, if they're, they'll pee. And, like, the squirrel's like, now's my chance to run the fence. And I know they're not going to get to it on time. So, like, I just watch them go chase it sometimes if they're even in that area of the yard because I have we have it parted off. But, and then it's just, like, done. Yeah, it really right, depends. It depends on your dog, your expectation. Now, if it's from an aggressive standpoint, like a dog we know. If it trickles into, yeah, if it trickles into other prey, that's then, one thing. It's strictly squirrels because, I mean, what dog doesn't want to go get squirrels? Right. Um, it also it just depends mostly on your expectations, your particular dog, and your uh, your desire if you want to change it or if you're okay with them having that behavior. Um, she's caught both squirrels and rabbits. Okay, would you like to change that behavior? Just the question. She it, sounds impressive to me. No, shit. Normally you need to go over and bring her learn. over. Yeah, let, let her teach our dogs to catch some of this vermin. <laughs> she's really 24, holy. No, she's not 24, my- Oh no, she, said, she just said, yeah, really 24, holy. She didn't say she. She's yeah, he, oh yeah, my last dog. dog yeah, 24, 24 he, he was still ready to keep going. Um, not in the healthiest way possible though. His quality of life was really poor, so we made that choice, but he was playing fetch until 20, 22 at least, like hardcore fetch. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, if you have questions, like she said, you can pop into her DMs and she'll direct you. Hi. She'll direct you to me. Good boy. Um, can Dexter come out and play soon? Soon she will bring out the Boston Four. 
Um, doghouse for life. Woo woo! Ooh. Gotta say yee yee. <laughs> Um, cool, a dog channel with live chat. Yes, we love it. I love live interactions. It makes me so happy getting to actually talk to people. Good to hear. Um, uh, how are your Bostons? Common question of the day. Graham, uh, you're unloved. Oh, I see. Well, yeah, I don't really, the right, right before you read that, is said hello. They're great. They're here. I'll bring them out in a minute. They'll be out. I don't know why I'm waiting, but okay. I am. I think we're waiting to just get through some more of the questions. If there's anything else off of that before we bring out the crazies. <laughs> she just wants a kiss. She's Ooh. staring you. No, go give her a kiss. Go get her. Go get her. Come here. There's a way to do a mic on an iPad. Stop. Get off me. What? What is that? He wants to leave. He does. That, that's him. He's at the door. He that's him go. saying, bye. I've had He's enough. Like, this is dumb. Fun fact. If your Boston has a dot on the top of its head, it's a descendant from one of the originals. This is true. That's awesome. Do I still ride? Yes, Paul. Um... Very occasional right now, just because of time. First weather, then time. But um, I have this. I still have the street triple, and then I actually got the Speedmaster back, which I haven't. I've literally not posted anywhere. <laughs> just that I still. I don't even time to post it that I got the bike back. I forgot all of your Boston's names. Uh, Dexter, Zuko, Lila, and Rolo. Right now. Right now. <laughs> as if, right now. As if she's thinking to add to the collection or subtract. You never know. <laughs> Hi, did you hear Bo? Are you happy? <sighs> Freaking out. About the dog. Yeah, I'll make more videos with um with all of the Bostons soon. It's very busy. These are busy. Yeah, they're very busy. This is like the light. Hitting. I mean, you can just see how busy they've been through this video, and they've they've all done stuff today. <laughs> Will you make more videos of Dexter? He is so adorable. That's what I was answering. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, he's all right. <laughs> he's he cray cray. No, yeah, he's funny. He's a very funny old dude. He's trying. He's starting to. He's having the trouble learning that he's older now and that he isn't the dog he used to be. He could hold his own super hard with other dogs. So I think it's. I think it's really hitting his little heart hard a little bit when he's when a dog when he's humbled by when a, a, by a this dog one. when a dachshund says no yeah, to him. Yeah, when that dog. Yeah. Yeah, the dachshund who's got no legs. Very passive. Uh, just told him no Mr. yesterday, Please. and he wandered off when he used that. Okay, That's not his style. Stop. Uh, Grim. So De Dexter thinks he's young. Yeah, that's a Boston for you. Yeah. That's very typical. They're like little bo uh, little boxers. Okay. Puppies for life. We are getting some questions about Mr. Fluffy. Oh, really? That's what. Tired. What happened to the Sphinx kitty? Ugh. I went. I think that's, that has potential to be its own video, doesn't it? No, 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 I'll definitely talk here. I don't know if that video keeps pausing. Ooh, let me, sorry, let me look. Um, 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 oh yeah, that's Noah's thing now. Okay, so it's like, yeah. So, uh, so, do you follow us on Instagram? Is that why you're asking that? Or are you just curious where he's at? Because that's some of my recent videos. He's here. He's doing, he's doing really well. Um, I haven't put it on YouTube yet because I've just, I, it's busy. But um, he, uh, he he was diagnosed with FIP not that long like at the beginning of last month, which just it, FIP is a usually um, it's a death sentence type of uh, disease that cats can get. Um, so it was really it was a really crazy situation at the beginning, um, but there is actually some uh, treatments now available within the last only couple of years which are very expensive and very, um, what 
what do you call it? Uh, uh, it's a, they're not even like FDA trial. approved. Yeah. So it's a try. It's actually like an experimental drug almost. But there's there's since it's come out and started being used, the, there's huge success in actually curing cats from it, which is unheard of to the point where a lot of veterinarians right now are really snobby and really against the idea because they're just they just don't believe it because FIP for so many years has been so deadly very quickly. Um, so, <laughs> trying to get my line. <laughs> so, um, anyway, so that was a big, 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 crazy shock. I, I plan on having a video out talking more about that because it's been such a crazy thing. And I think there actually, there needs to be more awareness out about FIP and the fact that there is treatment because vets are literally just sending animals home, cats home saying like, just, it's, there's something you can do. So you need to spend the next few hours with the cat with your cat because it's probably not going to make it through the night and even those kinds of cats when they're in that kind of critical condition can start the treatment immediately and within 24 hours could be turned around almost like uh, com almost completely seemingly like compared to on death's door can be and, and it, it kind of we've seen we've actually watched it as well so we've had our own experience with that and I have documented it since it started uh, video documentation pictures and um, like writing records and stuff like that. So I'm gonna try to get that out and share that as much as possible. And there is a GoFundMe for that as well. If you follow on Instagram, you've seen that. So, I mean, that's, um, I don't even know the link to that is on Instagram. I definitely, I need to do a, a video to kind of like better communicate that whole situation and raise awareness, but yeah. But he's here, and he's doing really well. I'll bring him out to you in a little bit. Yeah, you, you can see how well he's doing. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah, it's night and day. It's, it's. But he still has a long time, a long way to go with treatment, because it's, yeah. um, it's a long treatment, and it's a daily, a daily injection that he has to get. And we're still very careful it's with that. It's a large, that. yeah, it's a large injection, and it's not, it's very, it's actually pretty painful when it's first going yeah, in. Yeah, still here soon. Yeah, and, well, yeah. And, um, and expensive. It's very expensive. Considering. Lisa Tokyo said, Hi from Tokyo. I watched all your videos repeatedly. I miss your Boston. Jessica, you got slim and beautiful. Oh boy. <laughs> Thank you. Um, will you be doing more live chats? Possibly. Yeah, I would yeah. like, I'd really like to. This was a big, like, I've been trying to get to the point where we would try to do this and see what it looks like, what it does. Even the first, I mean, the first attempt did not work. <laughs> We thought we were on, we weren't, we were not. What so. are the total amount of animals do you have counting dogs, cats? Okay, do you just want to know dogs and cats, or? That's what they said. Okay, then the number's different. <laughs> you know the number. I don't. So nine. nine. I know nine dogs, and then I, the cats uh, are three, three and four. Three and four, so. So three, uh, four, five, six, seven cats. Seven plus nine is, uh, 16. Yeah, no. We're going to leave it at that number. 16. Yeah, 16. That seems it. like a fair... Yeah. Because 10 plus 7 we're is dumb. 17 and minus 1 is 16. How old is Sphinx? Uh, so Floki, the Sphinx, is 6 months old. I think he just turned 6 months. Or he's about to turn 7 months. He was, about, he was 5 months old when he started the... When he was diagnosed with FIP. Pretty young. Um, how old is he? All basically because I don't know all the animals. I think 16 is a safe number. <laughs> so I did, um, that's the dogs and cats, but I do have a, um, a, a conure. So we do, so, so there's a bird. So she lives on the patio in this big old cage that's She absolutely loves, she used to be inside and yeah, she, she was much in prefers outside. Yeah, she, she has so much more. Uh, since it's been nice Florida weather, it just wasn't during the cold, cold stuff, so. But then, we actually have recently, I posted on Instagram quite a bit, but we have, we are breeding rabbits for, we're, we're breeding meat rabbits right now. Uh, we started that a little bit, see how, see how far, like, if we like we it. Dabble in it, yeah. Yeah, 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 and it's for, it's for the dogs, basically, uh, a source for the dogs, and then also 
cooked. I actually went ahead and got, because uh, I had chickens previously, like only a couple years ago is when I, like, we got rid of, we ended up, we, the last of my chickens went away. Like, they were, she wasn't, she was really old, not laying any more eggs and stuff, and then she finally passed away or whatever. Or no, she, I actually rehomed her to somebody. And, um, the farm, you know, over the hills. So, who? <laughs> My chicken, my last old chicken. Oh, yes. Yeah. She she went. She's by. So, um, <laughs> and I wasn't going to have any more chickens, but then I just, I, then I got eight chickens. <laughs> so, eight chicks. So, we did raise some chickens. They're actually not even old enough to be laying eggs just yet. So, we'll see when that starts. But those are, we have those two outside. So, we have a little, a little ur urban farm going on out back. It's but, lovely. It's, it's really fun. Yeah. It um, is. The rabbits are a joy. How much does it cost to take care of all of the animals? A lot. It's a lot. It's it good. takes just as much energy and time as it yeah. does actual physical payment. Yeah. Yes. There's there's ways to, to you know work on the payment the, the money part, but I, I also I'm lucky enough to have creeper. Stop. Stop. I'm lucky enough to where I work. I uh, I have access to good quality products at cost. So for my own pets, it's like a benefit to working at the place I do. Yeah. Which is so, and I still have, um, very luckily I have, um, somewhat still good connections in the veterinary world because that was just my life for so long. So like I'm, I'm okay, we're okay there too. So when it's like all you do, it's pretty easy. Not pretty easy, but it, it, you, I, you find your ways around everything. I've been insanely grateful to um, be able to get decently priced, high quality pet food for my dog. Um, that, is, that is really nice. Um, it makes a difference in cost. Um, but yeah, it, it's, it's just like anything else that is a hobby that costs money. Um, there's ways to budget and appropriately still get good quality stuff and good quality care um, when you make it work. <laughs> The oldest cat is um, is Kisa, who I've got on my arm, tattooed there. But she so she just actually turned 15. Or I'm looking at a calendar. It was either this month or last month. Oh, that that is last month. I didn't yeah. it. Ha! So maybe it's this month actually, April. I think it is April, like 20th. She turns 15. So and she's fine. <laughs> she's she's fine at um at 15. Um, short hair or fluffy bunnies? Both. So there, we actually have two different breeds. We have uh, New Zealand whites and like broken whites. They're, um, so that's the meat rabbits. And then we actually have, we do have two dwarf lion heads, a male and a female, but that's all we have right now for them. They don't seem to like really care to do anything with each other. <laughs> They're not as fluffy though as some of the other ones. I think it's also our weather. I'm definitely not looking for like an angora or anything. I don't need a right. brush. That's a lot else. of that's a lot of hair. Where do you work? I work at a, uh, it's like a it's a dog and cat boutique and bakery. So it's a pet store, but it's a small business, locally owned. Hey, private. private Stop owned. getting in her face. It's not like a pet smart or anything. Very small, very like um, different foods than like you'd find at a big box store. And then it's what food do you get for your dogs? A lot of it. Every uh, it's different. She's on something different than everybody Bye else. Eggs. Um, I like to do Stella and Chewy's for Mina, raw and kibble. Um, sometimes Primal freeze dried stuff. Zeewee Peak is good. There's, I mean, there's a lot. Far, uh, Fram is good. Um, throwing in natural. <laughs> signature is good. What's the other? What's Essence is from Signature. From They're Farmina. Okay. Yeah, I brought it from Mina, Fram, and then. Wellness Course can be okay. Yeah, Wellness Course. I mean, it's not what I feed. That's what right. I'm saying. So. Um, I alternate. <laughs> Variety is good. Good night from a, oh, uh, a, a towel. Good night. Good night from Minnesota to Canada, or 
Oh. No, I'm not there okay. anymore. Yeah. From the U.S. to Canada. Keep the videos Bye. coming. I'm picking up a female Boston Terrier later this month. What food do you recommend and what food allergies do they have? Food allergies are based on dogs, not breed inherently. Um, all of my, most of my puppy, my most recent puppy Boston's, like when Zuko was little, what did I feed Lila? I don't even know what I fed her. But I suggest farming a puppy. To start, um, and then you gauge. Go from there and see how they do on it. Yeah, gauge your dog. Um, but Fromm is also has some good foods, good puppy foods. Right, and you can rotate the allergies. Usually have to go based off protein, not off of um, the actual brand. So you'll have a lot of options to change. Like if they don't like, if it doesn't do good on chicken, you can move on to beef. You know, you have a lot of options. Um, where are all of whatever? What are all of your dogs' names? <laughs> that would be. Um, Charisma. Charisma. Hi, Charisma. Oh, all the dogs are Dexter, from the Boston's are Dexter, Lila, Zuko, Rolo, and then we have Grimm and Creeper are the two German Shepherds. And then there is the Dachshund Foster doggy is Sebastian. The new project recently is Torby. newly Torby. Um, and then Nova. <laughs> Nova's her dog. Nova's my little troublemaker. Friend of mine scared swears by cow liver. Beef liver is a good additive on occasion. It should not be primary. Yeah, any, fed. yeah, any liver, a lot of liver, liver, organ meat is really beautiful for your dog, uh, and you, yeah. but it, it can cause diarrhea if you feed too much. So you want to just feed yeah. a decent, a good, um, just like anything in moderation. Yeah. Um, is high value though it is it's great for um, we i actually get a dehydrated version and i use it with a lot of my behavioral cases um in the beginning of training to add value to new behaviors do, 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 do. at the pet boutique that i work at like I, it's a friend of mine that op i helped open helped her open it three years ago we've been i've been helping her run it since then um she, I literally handle beef liver on almost a daily basis because <laughs> like one of our signature treats that we bake there ourselves that she created is straight is literally just yeah uh, beef a big big piece of beef liver and rye flour and cheddar and bone broth that we made ourselves dogs go nuts for it <laughs> what else do we miss anything oh they love birds and rabbits Which dog is the most craziest? I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna count the two. So bad. The two times. Okay. So out of our personal dogs, I'd say it goes. Well, it depends on what you mean by crazy. Do you mean high energy? Do you mean crazy as in problematic? Do you mean? Because I don't. I don't know. I mean, most of our dogs are pretty high energy. Um, I'd say craziest in the sense of like just wild would be, yeah, not exclusively Ludo. Um, would probably be Creeper. He's got the most energy. Yeah, Creeper's, then, Creeper's a, um, a, a, he's a con, he's in constant management. Yes. We're in constant management of him, so. And then it probably goes Dexter. Um, he's, he's easier, he's more easily managed than Dex, or than Creeper, but he does have a lot of energy that he is willing to display. <laughs> um, yeah, it depends. Yeah. Um, then it probably goes Nova, then Zuko. Yeah, I'm not sure. Then Grim, then Lila, then Rolo. Yeah, it's weird. It also depends on the day. Yeah. Some people are feeling, some dogs, some days are much more relaxed and. It so really relaxed. depends on what you mean by crazy. Yeah, yeah, it really does. I thought Dexter Oh, like high energy, yeah. I thought it'd be more like Creeper. Yeah. Um, he definitely has the highest energy. What is your favorite dog? Creeper. Everybody knows. It's, it's I'm, I'm very like it's reminded like, to the dogs daily. <laughs> yeah, I know, I have, I have no shame in, in like that's like, Hello. I think everyone has a favorite. It you know, happens. 
um, the saying goes, the reason, like, they're, like, what's the point in having, like, that's the whole point of having more than one, is so you have to pick a favorite. Hello. And so it took me this long of getting dogs to find my favorite. So I'm just kidding. But it, he's still my favorite. Yes. Like high energy. Yeah, yeah. Dex. Yeah, and that is another one. Yeah, Dexter. I mean, Dexter is high energy. He was more high energy, but he has a, he was more high energy back in the day, especially. But he has an amazing off switch. That's the difference yeah. between what you mean by crazy or whatever high energy. Right. So like depending on if a dog has an off switch or not, and Creeper actually really doesn't. <laughs> right, and I I, I, I was, saw like he had to have a ball, and then even then he was not he was not satisfied. <laughs> yeah, I would like fairly throw Nova up there. Her and Dexter are pretty much on the same level of energy. They can both get real crazy yeah. and last at that craziness. But still not. But they chill. both they both have an amazing off switch where it's like when I tell you knock it off, it's knock it off. And they're like, oh I know what right. that means. I'm gonna go lay down or I'm gonna climb like, down. Creeper has never I think the longest he's actually like when I've allowed him to lay on the couch or in a bed with me or or with us. It, it's me. It's it's not laying down. <laughs> it, it, it can lay down, but it's it's about five minutes on the couch. On the bed, it's it's very painful. So like it just doesn't happen. Whereas <laughs> you, you can't you can't do it. When the other ones like they know how to actually do that. It's not even not know how that creeper doesn't know how. It's just he doesn't his, want to. His, yeah, his brain he, is he like I to do that in the kennel. The kennel means to like chill. Yeah. It's very calm in the kennel, which is something I worked on very, very early on because because I know what it, what could happen, <laughs> what happened to a lot of people, and what happened to a lot of my previous German Shepherds in, in the years um, where you could not contain them. So I refused to ever have another German Shepherd that broke out of cages to where I had to buy like $900 cages just to confine them. <laughs> um, but no, he, he literally, you can't really lay, uh, you can attempt to, but it's... He, it's very hard to lay on the like lay down with him, and you definitely should never try to just lay on the ground with him or anything. Yeah, it yeah, hurt. that would that would not hurt. Well. Not aggressively, just. <laughs> um, how about? Where is Creeper? Probably standing at he the door. He just left. I just all got three him of out. all three of them uh, are uh, taking yeah. a break. Um, well, we're taking a break. Yeah. From them. Like, we're, like, my arms, you can't see it, but, like, if we're already plans already for marked. another dog? I have nine, if you did not, or if you're new to we, the live. We have nine here right now. I just no picked, plans. Literally, it, it picked, brought two home within 20, almost 24 hours yeah. last week. No, this past week. Yeah. On a, Kind of on accident. Kind of on purpose, kind of on accident. The thing is, um... The thing with dog people and dog Shit trainers happens. and people who are in the sport world is we always have plans to bring another dog home. It doesn't always mean a serious plan. I'm going to go get the dogs, the Boston. Dogs. Okay. Will you put Nova in my room? Yeah. Um, we always are like, what if we had this? What if we did this? We could do this with this breed. We could, um, this would be awesome to have a breed that looks like this or we see a breed. I do it on the daily. I switch what breed I want next. Um, but realistically, there is no... There's no set in stone or even loose plans to add another to the pack anytime soon. Um, five personal, six personal is enough. Seven, seven personal is what we have. So that's enough. And um, it's a lot. <laughs> um, I had an American Bulldog and Mastiff mix. They are best friends. I'm looking forward to seeing my Boston Terrier. That is awesome. It seems like all your animals get along. I had two cats and I could never leave them alone together because they would have killed each other. Your cats and dogs seem to get along amazing. Uh, the reason, hello children. Oh, creeper. Um, the reason our animals get along so well is take, take, taking the time to make sure that everyone's just uh, okay existing together. It's not about playing with each other or cuddling like cute videos. Well, and this, and we also do this a lot. Like, it, this is a very big deal that I've always done where they are, there is time. Hey, is it cool? There is times that she's not really. No, she's not this really. This dog has a lot of prey drive, so like the smaller dogs were still. Um, the, there's, there's times where they get to exist where I can actually monitor better, but then there's also. The majority of the time, you're kind of it's kind of like crate and rotate situations, and just like the Boston's get their time, the big dogs get their time, 
and whatnot. So right. it depends. Sometimes it's half Boston's with it, with all with both German Shepherds. Sometimes it's just Grimm with like a couple with like Lila out. I like to alternate and just switch it around, but um, you just manage it. Charisma. I also don't leave toys down free for resource guarding. Don't do that. How do you get your dog to start bark stop barking in the cage? Uh, that's again varies from dog to dog. This is my favorite button, the shut up button. Um, puppies are very different. Yeah. Um, brand new dog in the house is very different. Uh, old dog is very different. It, it depends on the dog. Um, more commonly than not, we use an e-collar. Um, it, it's the easiest and it's most communicative to a dog that that's not an okay behavior. Mm -hmm. oh, Which is your favorite foot? I don't know what that means. <laughs> Uh-uh, go. Zuko. Um, Boston's rule. Rolo. Zuko to me. Zuko to me. I want to like see. Um, okay, we'll do this. You keep going. I've been on a loop for a while. What's going on with Harvey? Harvey has Harvey passed away passed last on. October in, yep. on Halloween. On Halloween. Not this past Halloween, but the one before that. Yeah, it's been a year. Yeah, he, uh, he, he passed away. That's, he was elderly. That was what was best for his, it was his time. Um, yay! Yes, we've got the Boston's out. Zuko is ready to party. Dexter. Zuko. He's trying to get up here, but I'm, I'm not ready for him to be up here. Um, Harvey is long gone. Yeah. Okay. Is that? Uh, doorman. Robbie said that. Is that a motorcycle seat chair? Kind of. It's for, so, yeah. <laughs> essentially, yeah, you could compare it to that, and the, the reason why is because, like, because I had, uh, I had I had surgery on my SI joint and just bad back issues or whatever, and this is recommended for people that are, like, if they're going to sit in a chair, like, at a computer desk or whatever, it's recommended, because, like, and also, like, sitting on a motorcycle is actually one of the more, the most comfortable ways of sitting. That was a little handstand we had sitting, going on. Way of sitting, um. So they made these chairs. You get a back on it or no back. So yeah, it's also like horse saddle type, um, which again, like you know. When my dog was a puppy, she broke out of three cages. Finally, said I enough is enough, and got a cage with a quarter inch steel bars. I actually recommend not getting more right steel for a dog that breaks out. That could cause broken limbs, broken teeth. I recommend crates like this style over here that are like more blocked in. You can see it. Uh, yeah, you can really um, turn it. But more blocked in. This is a Rufflin crate. We have two of them. Uh, they're more blocked in. They feel more enclosed. They feel safer. Um, this is also crash tested. So it's... Yeah, this so this is actually Creeper's travel kennel in the SUV, but... And I have um, one in my car as my dog's travel kennel. So it's, it's this is really flat. They can't see it. I'll stiff. turn so you can see it. Oh, you can. Yeah, the angles. All right, look at me. I broke it. See the angles aren't okay. Look at your phone, you'll see. Oh my Oh, sorry for the hand. Sorry, I messed up the angle. She's not a professional. I'm She's not. a rookie. I don't know how we had it really. Oh that's Oh that looks much. better. Oh that looks a lot better. Um yeah, so it's got like hard plastic. It's hard plastic all the way around. It's Nice and sturdy. She's actually a dog that digs at the crates as well, so she'll, like she'll bite at it. Yeah, she try to put her. Teeth she'll right. bite. She'll bite at the bars, but she, um, because it's. But you can see those bars are pretty close in between. Flat. All of these are air Very holes. Flat. Very small opening. She can't get her. Um, it's safer. It. And um, the other thing I use in crates. I mean, it's a little different with a puppy. Puppy. But again, any collar to curb that, like, no, we are not gonna lose our mind because it's a dangerous behavior. Breaking out of crates is a dangerous behavior. Um, is Zuko still biting Grim's face? Yes, he bites everybody's face if he can. Yeah, uh, he does. Uh, <laughs> okay, but her he face. He bit my face but, uh, when we were when doing. She was training him. I'm like, training him. Uh, he's kind of excited. He gets excited and he likes to kiss. And Dexter. since he has, yeah. he's a Boston. He has a yeah. smooshed face. His teeth protrude. So he will kind of like hit you by accident um, with no intention to. So he actually, it's healing now, but he cut my nose. It was so. It was very funny. And I, I left it. I didn't even clean it. I just kept training because we had work to do. <laughs> 
Um, she hasn't broken out of that one yet. That's good. Be careful. She could break teeth. Um, the newest bot in Boston is so cute. Did you feed different? What? Um, was that the same sentence? Yes, I think asking <laughs> did you feed a different I'm food. Did, did you feed the different food for? I don't know. Wait. For Rolo, does he eat different food than the no, other? No, not at all. Nope, they eat the same. That wouldn't change how cute he is, though. <laughs> uh, Matt said, "Isn't Alex the best trained dog in the house?" Uh, no, <laughs> like no, he's not. Uh, how do you add content to the bio? Huh? Uh, they're asking for the ins my Instagram to be able to reach out. Content to the bio. I can't. So please so put your Instagram info in the description. Oh, I oh, so you could, you can actually. How about I just type it out? Does that work for you? Right, me? you can add it. Like, do you have an Instagram? Because that's her main source right now. That's what she's asking is for me to put my Instagram. Yeah, do that then. But if you don't mind, I can direct it there. I don't know. If, I don't know if anybody's. Uh, I just dropped my Instagram. It says Elizabeth above and beyond canine. That is my Instagram. You guys are more than welcome to check me out. Send me a DM. We can organize something. Uh, like asking which dog is your favorite. We already went over that. That would be Creeper. That is Creeper. <laughs> and worry. this is Rolo. I think I need, yeah. I think Fully I grown. Need, I'm going to make a shirt. Like yes. a dog house He's shirt. Very it says funny. Creeper is the favorite. Creeper is the favorite. The golden yes. child. You do like the gir golden girls, all of the dogs in like golden girls characters and put creepers. You see the back. It's sleepy pants. This is Rolo. Oh, Alex is home. He does funny things like tilt his head and wiggle. Look, did you see the reaction? <laughs> thank you, meme scientist. The dogs, thank you, Adala. Oh. oh, thank you. Um, I said huge. Oh, he is pretty big. He is pretty big, especially for his, his parent size. Yeah, no, we're very confused. We're confused how he is bigger than Zuko and bigger than Lila, yep. as in both of them are very small. The whole letter was giant. There were three. There was a run, so she was on. He's my favorite. However, <laughs> both boys were giant. Like, we're literally almost the same age and size as Zuko was at nine weeks when they were almost three weeks old. Yeah, they were They were huge. Fat. Um, funny, I didn't realize you loved Boston's. I do too. Probably my favorite after German Shepherds, and believe it or not, Bichon. I can't say it. <laughs> free state. I don't know. Free, free, um, free, free, who free said that? Uh, oh, that was the Karina. Yeah, hi. Actually, say, so same. Yeah, German Shepherds, Boston's, and then it go, actually. Go, I actually, so after that, I actually like like Yorkies and shit. So she's been. We've been really talking. Funny about, enough, I actually really like more. Yeah. <laughs> Just really. We've been talking about me potentially, not anytime soon, not while I'm here, um, getting a Yorkie, as in, that is... Do you like my wine? <laughs> Literally, Alex just opened the door to grab the wine glass. Or the wine glass. I want it! Mine's broken, okay. too! And Creeper is literally behind him, and it looked like he bit his ass as he's, he's like, like, hi, he's hi, hi. Um, oh, next live podcast, make sure we know we can do Super Chats donations. I don't like to ask for shit like that. Yeah, we don't ask for stuff. This is Rolo. He is my baby. We spend a lot of time together. He is a really cool dude besides um, his potential. Quarks with this head tilt. There it is. Mm. Yeah, he's my buddy. He's a really good dude. All right. They keep showing up there before here. We have a Boston now. She's our second one. My niece had one that is 15 years old. That is an old Boston. This is Zuko right here, right up here on the kennel. Uh-uh, uh-uh. Seat, sit. Um, that's Zuko right there. That's his son, Rolo. There's Lila and Mr. Dexter. Sitting very prettily. It looks like an audience in the background. I know, I'm gonna have to get a picture of them. That's real cute. They look really regal from the side. Um, let's see. Oh my god, he got big. Zuko is pretty big. I mean, he's still smaller than his son over here. Um, he does look a lot bigger on this kennel. They are very well trained. Thank you. We put a lot of time in them. All our dogs we put a lot of time into making sure uh, their behavior, especially having a lot of dogs, it's really important to make sure behavior is uh, of utmost quality. 
What are you doing? Lila. See, this is her, this is Lila compared to her son. Like the size difference, insane. No one likes to ask for money, but seriously, you give, you all give free content. We don't mind if you let us know, we can contribute to your information. Oh, contribute for your info. I will pass that on to her when she gets in. They said, oh, yes. They said, we we put, got, I put ice in the red wine, just so people can judge. Uh, sh they said, um, say, it looks like an audience in the background. Yeah. And I, and then they said they're very well trained, and I talked about how it's very important, especially with the amount of dogs we have, that everybody's behavior is on par. And then yes. Karina said, no one likes to ask for money, but seriously, you give all free content. We don't mind if you let us know. We can contribute for your information. I appreciate that. I will, um, thank you. I'll let <laughs> you know. Yeah. She won't. <laughs> no, I mean, we'll say it in the beginning. The last time I seen seen him or saw him, he was small. Yes, he is much bigger now. There's a girl. Yes. Did you do the which dog is the best trained? Oh no, which dog is the best? Again, trained? that's subjective. That's the same that's as the, yeah. the craziest. Almost actually. It de I yeah I think it very much varies, especially because all of them do different things. I'd say the least trained would be these two. Probably Rolo. I don't know. They're kind of the same. Him and Lila are kind of the same. Uh, I, yeah, I don't know. Lila's less... I don't want to say Lila, but she's she's very patterned in her life, so that's different. Is that training? Is that just a pattern? Right. Is that a routine? Is that... Yeah. So... But then um, it's like, what? how much does Rolo actually retain? I mean, physically, who's in the house, it'd probably be um, the mouth. The, <laughs> the most trained. Least. Dude, was it most or least? Oh my gosh, Callie. Oh my god, thank towards you. your next bottle. <laughs> thank oh my god, you. that's so funny. Thank oh you. Oh my gosh. Um, what was that? Thanks for co podcasting channels with dogs are my favorite. Good night. Good night. Yeah, good night. Uh, also, do we have a podcast now? <laughs> oh my god, we should do a podcast. I know, everybody's doing them. Uh, we could be a part of the trend. Uh, uh, I've seat. always wanted one. Sit. Okay. Sit down. Oh, she told you. Can, could you do a podcast or a video that covers potential prey issues with the big dog versus teeny dogs? Absolutely. Uh, yeah. I th we're going to touch a little bit on that in yeah, this video. That'll... Not in depth by any no, means. No, yeah, but because but... that's a big, we do actually already have footage and stuff of her, of just have, like when we first got, when I first brought her home and like all, like her reactions to the cats and stuff and how we're... it's, it's almost, it's different than like your typical prey drive. Um, yeah. It, it's almost ranging it's on that scary. dangerous behavior. Yeah. Like no, you don't exist and yeah. to a, a whole nother level of most dogs. <laughs> like that. Um, yeah, she's very guarded of her kennel right could now. Could you do, oh yeah. So we will, we could definitely talk about that. Yeah, she'll get her own video, but we're going to, we'll pull her out in a few when the dog yeah, the um, away. Yeah, Zuko shocked me. Why? Because of his size? Um, I remember when Jess saved and raised a squirrel. We actually. Oh, I've been quiet a few since then. We actually just, like two weeks ago or last week, released a litter of three. Like two, stop. Hey, lay down. Um, yeah, three. three three adults like did the whole process like I normally do where I put them on my patio and then they they're in a big bird cage and they're you know they start and then eventually at some point I get um, I let the I let, I open the door and they're allowed to have freedom and stuff like that and come in and out of the cage but these like like it got to the point where I, I got rid of the cage they weren't like needing the cage anymore. Like they were, but they still out. never left. They're they were out of the leave. patio, and we had to like lock the patio doors to make sure they weren't getting in. And they just and they still for like a week clung clung to the Sorry. outside and was like, no. My son can't get away from Lola when she can open his bedroom door. It's <laughs> fine. Uh, crude. Seriously, want to give you lovely ladies a couple of dollars? Can't figure it out on YouTube where I'm watching. Def will check out your oh Instagram. My gosh. Oh my god, you people are so sweet. <laughs> Zuko is so pretty. He is a very handsome dude. He really is. Oh, Rolo's like, look at the rats. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention the rats last time. Yeah, we have we have rats earlier. too. That's part of our animal correct 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 corral collection farm. <laughs> Here, you're just gonna choke on it. 
She is, and she's more than happy to do so. Can you not lay down? Lay down. Uh uh. Lay down. Dexter. You put, lay down. Uh, he said he's too close. No, down. Dexter, down. It was when so Lila was a few months old no. when Amadeus was still alive. For what? Wait, which bit? Oh, I remember when Jess saved and raised, and raised a squirrel. That was when Amadeus oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. and Layla was, Lila. Yeah, Layla. that's a hard one. It was a baby. Uh, it's amazing your Bostons do not bark. Is this a breed trait? No, it's training. Yeah, no, they bark. They bark. They definitely there's, nothing to, there's nothing to bark about in here. Yeah. Um... Also, you can curb a lot of those behaviors or even just manage them with training. A lot, yeah, pretty yeah. much 90% of behaviors you can m at least manage with training. Look at it, he's chewing it. He's just still not going to down, though. He <laughs> said, I refuse. Like, no. um, Lila's butt up in the air. Oh, you can see. That's funny. Big booty girl. Lola's in front. I took a picture of them sitting. They looked so regal. My Boston's bark, but not a whole lot. Mainly when she was playing or someone is at the door. That's pretty average for a lot of dogs. Look at that picture I got. That's funny. Super cute. <sighs> oh, there she goes. Choking on it. Sorry. See yeah. how I'm trying to keep up with social media, but it's I know this is fine. It's a lot. Um, um, um. My GSD went after an unattended off-leash chihuahua hiding in a basket under an unattended stroller. No skin broken, but owner wanted my GSD put down. Well, that's too bad. Yeah. <laughs> that is something we can definitely talk about when you come to my Instagram. Yeah, it's still very stressful. But, Made me uh, serious about obedience. That's good. I'm really glad that was eye-opening for you to uh, change your dog's behavior. But also, um, don't feel bad for neutralizing any threat towards your dog. Even if it's in the shape of a chihuahua, as, yep. you, as you just said, that, you were, that you're, this person wanted your dog put down, animal control was called, and that you were very stressed. That sounds like your dog... That, that no matter that it was a chihuahua, it was still a threat to you and your dog. Financially, you know, the, the life of your dog, like, you know what I mean? Like, right. Um, our dog runs out the door and hauls butt towards the road. She's not obedient. You can, if, do you have an Instagram? <laughs> I have an Instagram. Check out my and Instagram. And also, just get a leash. Yeah. And don't take it off. Leash, leash is um, my number one best, it is the mo I truly believe it's the most underrated tool in dog training. Yeah. It's just simply a leash. It leash, adds leash, leash. so much to it. Um, but if you want more help, like I've said a million times, go ahead and check out my Instagram. A lot of some really don't have it, but some should. Or they do. Love, watch your dogs chew on their treats. Well, now you can see them choke on it. Because they eat it too fast. Um... I love you, LOL, and I'm amazed how far I've gotten my stinker GSD. Love on a couple, love on a couple weeks. Yeah, awesome. good, good job, Karina. You're very, you seem very. Uh, you feel very dead. So yeah, good. absolutely. And that's the that's the biggest thing when training your own dogs is the dedication. If you have that, you can you can do a lot. Okay, is it down? Well, well both of those idiots might, did that. You know, choke up a little bit. Yes, a leash used correctly. Who knew? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Heaven Don't be alarmed if you see, if you see vomit. Apart, if you see face come out. Uh, Dexter rules. Yeah, he's probably about to hack up a you think so. piece of treat. <laughs> and no, it's not because they're sitting next to each other. Have treats. the Skeeters ever gotten your dogs? How about a bee? Uh, skeeters get ah, their dogs all the time. So, well... <laughs> So this is Florida, we're down the south. Uh, the mosquito is our state bird. I'm pretty sure, yes. My I'm very hostile been... towards the mosquitoes. Yeah. I... Uh, unfortunately, too, we, you know, with the mosquitoes here, we're not surprised. The mal that we just took in 
is heartworm positive, which is uh, contracted through mosquitoes. So um, it's very important that down here, especially, to always keep your dog on a preventative. Year round, so, don't stop even yeah, when it's so cold. Yeah, so mosquitoes definitely have got probably, pro I mean, they never told me that they got bit, but I'm assuming. <laughs> <laughs> Dexter, so, have you been bitten by a mosquito? That was a yes. <laughs> uh, knock on wood, I don't think I've had a, any of my dogs right, like, ever really get bit by a bee. I have. Nova got bit by a bee. Not severely. It was a light sting, um, and it was interfered. She didn't get any face swelling. Mm. She didn't, like, have a bad allergic reaction. Just gave her some Benadryl, and she was fine. No vet visit needed. But um, I've never had a yeah. severe bee sting. I had, a, I had a rabbit growing up that got stung by a bee, and my mother so rushed, weird. rushed it to the ER. And it was very dramatic. I don't even remember. I'm, oh. sure, I'm sure they were like, uh, give it some Benadryl and leave it alone. Yeah. Well, it's a rabbit. I don't think, no, rabbits are weird. That's true. Rabbits and it wasn't like ours. Places. We were pets. You remember like when schools would let you bring home the pet, the class oh, yeah, pet? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was our class pet. Great. And Good job. My mom got it stung by a bee, and of course she... Fail that class? Probably. It was my sister's yeah. class. She was definitely probably... Actually, I think oh. we were offered to keep the bunny, and my mother was like, no. No. Just buy the... Just, when it, if it dies, just buy one that looks just like it. That's like... That's my, like movie 101. <laughs> I remember we had a few class pets. Like, we had that rabbit... Her name was Aurora. I remember that. I was never allowed to bring home the glass, the class pet, cause you wouldn't get it back. And, well, no, but like now, look at every, like look at everything. Like, don't, don't not let your kids have animals, cause like eventually. The, eventually, they turn out like Jessica, yeah, and they have all of them. It's like I'm not all of them then. Well, that happened to me too. I wasn't allowed to get a dog until um, I got Nova when I was living with my parents and. Oh, see, I would just find them or lie and say I found them in the fucking gutter. And oh, well, the thing is, her parents were compassionate. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Mine were... Well, okay, so that's that's debatable because, like... Did they let you keep them? Ha okay. <laughs> Wait. Yes. And get attached. Love them. Give them away. For a month, maybe a couple weeks. And then I would go to school and come home... And she, my mom would have admitted to dropping off whatever kitten or puppy, like, in the parking lot of Home Depot or something. And, like, <laughs> you're like, okay. it's gone now. And I'm like, thanks for the trauma accorded, like, that I'm associating with school. <laughs> right, right. So, um, yeah, no. I used to own a Boston who I was very close to, and I miss her lots, but I enjoy watching your videos and seeing the adorable Bostons. I definitely have a soft spot for Bostons. So does she. Same. <laughs> It's uh, very soft. Uh, was introducing a little, like a Boston, into the pack ever difficult around big working dogs? Any special you had to do? Well, no. So, um, your shepherds came after Boston's were they? Yeah, so, yeah, uh, specifically. Yeah, so with this, my whole scenario, the Grim and Creeper came after. After those littles yeah, existing. after, so, like, but it was, like, Rolo was born, like, right before I brought Creeper home, and so they kind of were both puppies, which was okay, and then, um, Graham came in to Boston's that were already, or dogs that were adults, and another, and, like, Dexter, I think, was the only Boston. Oh, and I actually had, I, people don't know, the reason why I started the dog house also was because of, um, well, because of Graham, but then. Before that, I had another female Boston, or my original female Boston named Azula, and she, which is then where now Zuko comes from, but <laughs> the name. So, but um, I had her, so I, so I had, yeah, he had two Bostons with the puppy and came to the house to the point where, like, next, uh, Graham was kind of thought he was a Boston too for a while, like a smaller dog. Um, but then, yeah, no, just, I mean, it's, it's really, I mean, even if I didn't, it wouldn't have been much different. Because they just do things slowly and I think respectfully they, for each dog, and also I'm the boss, so like right. all things considered. I, I was a little nervous when I moved introducing. Yeah, Nova, that was interesting. Yeah. Um, because I do have a hunting dog. Um, she doesn't actually. She never, and you only, well, when you, when we first started talking about it, like like really getting serious about the idea, um, you still had never met any of my dogs. No, personally. I hadn't. I had never met any of her dogs. Um, my dog had never met any of her dogs. 
before we had decided to move in together. My dog, yeah. my dog's first yeah. time meeting her dogs, I mean, came after we moved in, but her first time being here was when we moved in. Yeah. Um, so we were definitely a little... Yeah, I was like, it wasn't going to work out well. Yeah, like, shit, we're going to have to make yes. it work. <laughs> um, but um, I do have a hunting breed, and um, she had been around little dogs, and she had been wonderful around little dogs. My dog's very well socialized, but um, she had never been in the dynamic of living and constantly coexisting with little dogs. So we, we didn't have really any real worries, but we were like, hmm, that might be something we have to work on. And uh, I think the, the biggest, the bigger concern was the cats. Yeah, which uh, she knows our cats. She'll chase other people's cats. But, right. she, but, but my dogs will too. Yeah, you yeah. know, knows, she knows who our cats are. And if she doesn't recognize one of the cats, she'll run up to them and then she'll be like, oh, I know you, whatever, you live here. She's rearranging her furniture in there. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, how do you feel about affection towards big working breeds? I know he's not human, but I love him so much and cuddle and tell him I love him a lot. I don't think I can stop. That's fine. I mean, it's I, as long as it's not affecting behavior. Yeah, it just depends. It depends on what the rest of the day looks like, but also um, as far as like, like personally with Creeper, I. It depends on it depends on how I'm uh, showing affection and when. So like I like to I do like to pet him, but when I'm when I'm physically being affectionate, like like most would do me and whatnot or anything or trying to cuddle their dog, I have to I, I have to take it very carefully. Because he'll take care. <laughs> yeah, like on like just by play or like yeah. he'll jump or he'll like headbutt your nose or it. It can be a little. It's one of those funny. questions that it's, um, especially with particularly like working, working dogs. It's I the same as you... when you see like somebody. It's almost. It's kind of similar to when you see somebody that uh, handles big cats. Yeah. How they they do? They lay down. They get in the ground and they get, or bears like these people that handle bears and whatnot. Not it's not that bad, but like you you kind of have to do it pretty carefully and. Um, and yeah, Check another one of those things bit. is um, they get excited, and they can hurt. Oops, sorry, Dexter. It also depends on Lila. if your dog's a true working dog, like if not just a working breed, but if they're actively working and you have expectations for them, your your affection will look a little bit different. Yeah, my goals for Creeper are very different for any for, for any dog um, in this house in right the now. House, yeah. Um, the other thing too is like a lot of questions. Most things are individual dogs. Like some dogs. Um, so especially like let's look at two working dogs one working dog be able to be a full family life and still do their job perfectly and another working dog may not enjoy affection or affection um, brings out you know poor behavior in them or bad characteristics so if your dog's not displaying any severe bad behaviors I wouldn't withhold affection um, but you know again that's something we can look at uh, more a lot of good trainers suggest giving affection last thing you should do after massive exercise, obedience, etc. And honestly, not sure I can do that. My stinker comes to me and I rub his forehead. That's not that's not bad at all. Um, although, like, the reason why a lot of trainers suggest that is for be behavior. It's because it's a dog. It's a it's for that particular dog usually. Yes, there are some sh shit trainers out there. <laughs> That, uh... Um, if you're watching. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. That, that say that, if they, they just, they say that that's the way it is and it should be like that with everything. That's not true at all. But, um, yeah, if you're, obviously, yes, if your dog is, li is running around, peeing all over the house, like, lifting his leg and marking Or going after own, you or your or other like, animal. Or, like, or, yeah, or, like, resource guarding anything he owns or the couch or your bed. Or, or reactive on rocks or, or... All of this, like, bad stuff. Like, yes, no, you shouldn't. You should not cuddle right now. You no. Have to take the time yeah. To not do that. And that's uh, another reason I keep, I know it's probably em annoying that I keep emphasizing that things are individual with a dog, but mm -hmm. it, it kind of, it, it, it is really hard to make general state statements about, you know, all dogs because, like, a dog like uh, Lila or Rolo, they both can accept ample amount of praise and it doesn't affect their behavior really at all. But a dog like my dog Nova, if I give her way too much praise or way too much cuddle time or she gets to lay on the couch all the time, she has separation anxiety and she will, it will affect her I actually have life. Some, uh, some input uh, with Dexter. Actually, yeah, go ahead. In particular, because like, so uh, Dexter obviously is my oldest dog right now, but um, I can, there's been a lot of times where he sleeps in the bed before 
Um, but it got to the point where I noticed the more he was allowed to sleep in bed and be like that dog for a while, he he literally would come. There was times after like a couple days in a row, he was sleeping in the bed and getting that kind of like freedom, and the would wake up, come out of the bedroom, and for no reason, and I'd walk up to, there's, there was a scenario, I walked up to a, the couch to pet one of the foster kittens that we had a while back, and I was petting him, and Dexter was the only dog loose at the time, because we had just woken up, and he was at my side, standing there at the couch, like this, like you see him standing looking at her, his tail, you can't see it, but his, I don't know if you can see it, his tail's just wagging, he just seems very normal and neutral, he's standing like that right next to me, and I was just petting this kitten, and as soon as, for no reason, I don't even know what happened, he jumped up, lunged, and bit that cat on the leg to where blood was squirting everywhere. Well, so I, I remember the increased. first time he slept with me, I actually, I came down here to, um, yeah. for vacation, like a visit, before I moved in, and um, he was allowed to sleep with me, but I was, I was high value. I was a new person in the house. He got to sleep in the bed. Those are both very high value things to a dog, especially a dog um, where it's, it's uh, circumstantial for them because they are, can't necessarily handle it. Um, and he also got to be in a bedroom. So all of those things were high value. And we came out of the bedroom the next day. And it wasn't immediate, but he was he was testy the rest of the day. He was trying yeah. to be bossy with the other dogs. He was trying to snap at people. And certain dogs, they can't live that lifestyle. It's better off. And other dogs as well, um, you need to withhold a lot of that for a while. And then they can earn it back. So my dog for a really long time wasn't allowed on the bed, wasn't allowed to sleep in the bed um, for separation anxiety, wasn't allowed on the couch, and a lot of that's dialed back. You can ask Jessica, just like since I moved in, um, her you know her separation anxiety isn't gone, but she it's way more manageable now. Way, yeah, she calms down much much faster. Um, but yeah, is she quiet? She gets quiet. Do her normal howling or anything? No, like but yeah, that's why I keep bringing up that it's very, it's very individualized. Cause just like people, um, right. one behavior in one person or one behavior in another person can look very different from cause and effect, um, and what they need. So, like I said, we could, you know, you you that's said you're gonna, yeah, go ahead. You said you were gonna reach out. Um, that's definitely something we can look at in video sessions and stuff like that if we get into that and you know look at it particularly so it can be individualized to your your own dog because your dog may be able to have all these freedoms or your dog may need to eliminate some freedoms or withhold for a while or something. It's all very personalized and that's like all our dogs. All our dogs have very different. Um, they have the same expectations, but some of them have different privileges. Um, or, you know, use of privileges. My mouth got dry. I, uh, oh, she's still on, yeah. Um, yeah, anyways, that's not the, that's not the first time he's ever done that, where he's shown weird, uh, super aggressive behaviors after a small length of time of having these certain types of freedoms and privileges, so, like, he just proved that he couldn't he couldn't handle that kind of stuff. Right. Um, and he felt like a big like a big guy. Yeah, like oh, oh I got to lay in the bed. None of you did. Yeah, you got I'm to see king. Me. I'm yeah. king now apparently. So it was just like no. Uh, so yeah, there's that. Yeah, I see a lot of Karina. I see a lot of that. Um, uh, as being a trainer who's working been working through COVID. Um, a lot of separation anxiety is present. Um, yeah, and it's already happening, like, in, during COVID stuff. Yeah, yeah. Um, Man, well, it's midnight. Almost. There's a lot of resources about that because people are still talking about it. It's a, it's a big thing. COVID puppies are a thing. <laughs> Very much. I have one. Yep, she has one. Kind of, right? Is he considered a COVID puppy? Yeah, we got him during COVID. When did you get him? You got him in... Um, no, I got him right before COVID. COVID hit in February. Yeah, and you got him in and January. January. No, I, I got him February 2nd. I got him a couple weeks. No. Yeah. I got him February 2nd. Of 2019. Uh-huh. COVID hit, well, it was actually in the U.S. in January, but they didn't tell us about it till like, third week of February. Right. Oh, the restrictions. <laughs> the restrictions hit. Uh, oh, no, the restrictions hit after March. That's yeah, right. Because Alex's yeah. birthday is the 7th, and... It was like the week after that. Yeah. That's where I was like, wait a minute. Can they hear that? Can they hear that? I have no idea. So you guys hear that little meow out the door? I don't know who, who all is watching. You're right. So the camera does it. 
No, it doesn't. And your stripes are going down. <laughs> I feel well, you square. Know. I feel very square. I don't look like this. Oh, see, it's the shirt. Look at that. You're funny. It's very square today. Yeah, that's my hair too. <laughs> oh, because you wanted me to look like a square? No, I just I, cause I was telling them about how he is uh, my baby. You are. See, he's so precious. You're so precious. Okay. Oh. He's just enjoying his personal time up there. He's like, Mr. King. Uh uh. Get out. They know, they know about up. being props. That's all it is. All right, 20 people. Any more questions? I know. Before we bring up, we have cat we'll and some stuff. Yeah. Change up. Do you guys even really want to see the. Sphinx. Yeah, I want to know if people want to see the Sphinx or yeah. if they want to see uh, our Malinois. Want to see what? Want to know? I mean, no, not see. You know what people want to see? Malinois yeah. interesting. She is very interesting. She I don't even know. Too. I'm like, gonna, like I don't even know how how we're gonna do that. <sighs> All right, you got a big. Um, can you take an adult dog with good obedience and start him into dog sports? Is it too late if it didn't start as a puppy? No. Zuko's starting. Zay, what the hell? <laughs> Yo, it's Zay, haha. <laughs> Tell Dex I said what's good. Clutch work, J Dog. <laughs> um, uh, back to Karina. Zay, we miss you. <laughs> uh, when do I get to meet you? Yeah, come meet Alyssa, you jerk. You moved away. Um, I've heard or something. But Karina, um, I, I personally, everyone has a different opinion on things like this. I personally never think it's too late to try a dog in sports. I'm not saying your two-year-old will be absolutely top-notch quality in these sports or even like them. But I'm a huge believer in owners just trying all kinds of sports, even just average pet owners that have like random mutts or anything. Try it. It's fun. It's very, it's very good for bonding. It's good for behavior, for exercise, for health. And it's fun. I love doing it. I mean, he's two. He's just starting. He's two. He's and starting also, with me. I have no experience in yeah, this sport. There's girl. There's people. Funny enough, it's all like a lot of women. Um, there's a lot of handlers out in uh, Ow. at our place that we just recently found. Um, that I started with Creeper, and she started with Zuko out at uh, in, in our area. Um, that are all like they're adults. Some of them are adults just starting. There's one, you know, what's her name's dog is four, and it's a it's a mastiff mix type dog. Oh yeah. And it's her service dog, and also so like, and she's doing, and she's gonna she's gonna start titling the dog. Uh, yes, it did come with. And the there's yes. a lot of people out but, there that are actually elderly handlers, like yeah. over forty, and they have um, older dogs, older German shepherds yeah, that they're still starting. training, working. It's good for the dog. It's just like like Grim. I had him out there last actually last week when we went the last time, and he, what? <laughs> and I, I had no. I only brought him out just to bring him to the environment and like because we were it's like it's almost like tailgating with your dog is how I explain it. But then you're also it's very nice to just enjoy. But I wanted to bring him out obviously to be included and whatnot, and we ended up putting like letting him get on the field and try it out, and he actually did have some kind of, some form of protection in him. Which and he's really it. neat. It was, yeah, he liked it. Which also for a dog like Graham or any other dog, it's good. It's a really good um, outlet. outlet, and it's also really good confidence building in the dog. He felt like such a badass, which was so funny right. to see. And then um, and that's any sport. It's like a joke. Like I would never try. To, I I have no no intentions of trying to like tie whole crib and anything. However, like it was really fun for him to get involved and get to do it. And it was fun for me to like allow him to do it. Well, and it's really nice to also like um, see these characteristics in your dog come out. Like see, like Grim's not a barker. No. And for him to actually bark yeah. at a human, he, where was he, he very? He bared teeth and barked was very, and jumped yeah. at like forward. Usually, it's if, if that does happen, it's a it's a cowering motion in a sense. But this time it was and it was a tail wagging. It was a very fun situation. Yeah. It wasn't a stressful. It was, to an extent it was, but like it was just he was more like I'm allowed to do this. Yeah, this is and awesome. It, and he got and confident, really and then we moved on, and he got put away and. Our trainer come came back to the car and like tried it again, and he was like, "I remember what I'm supposed to do." It's it's very fun. I've had I, my my boyfriend has a healer puppy, and he's not a dog. You know, he likes dogs, but he's not really into it at all. And once I showed him, you know, how, what it looks like or how fun it is or the potential his dog had, um, he was like, "Wow, I want to try this out." Like, 
And I've had a lot of people in the past do that with their dogs and not even like with any goals for anything besides a bond with their dog and to have fun and try it. Alex, Zay, what the hell? Y'all are just sitting here talking to each other. Are we having a chat in here? Yeah, just chugging. Start your own live. LOL, I'm Cali <laughs> ATM. Sorry. He's in Cali? Yeah, he's in California. Wow. Also, like, that's cool, but, like, wow. you're going to get the Rona there. <laughs> really, I love you, ladies. Don't forget don't your mask. don't need to earn ribbons. Oh, I'll just want to have a fun. Right, same. That's Absolutely. How, yeah. And, um, well, that's what I'm doing with Zuko is I'm really, what me and Zuko are doing is dipping our toes in it. Seeing what he has, if he even likes it, and he really does like it, and, you know, there's potential there for him to go for titles. And also just diving me into the world of, like, do I like involving myself in sports? Right. Is this something I'd ever actually seek to get a dog to do? So something on the topic before it's all before it ends, and I have to go pee, I'm going to put the dogs up and get the, get the mouth out. And do 100 It's getting late. Well, it's getting, yeah, it's yeah. getting late, too. We're losing people. But um, no, I was actually just listening to one of my podcasts to, to yesterday or today, and one of the guys on there, it's a working dog radio, and... Um, he was talking about it was the guest they had and at some point back in the day of this one person's career i forget who it was he f literally found a junkyard dog at four years old i believe it was a mal it was atypical it was either a mal or a jumper shepherd typical breed for the sport however four years old from a junkyard and he ended up putting like an ip of three on this dog so like that's insane like because this dog's three years old and i don't know that so that just sounds really insane um, so it's possible, anything's possible, but like, yeah, if you just want to have fun with your dog, just have fun with your dog. Do it. Um, and you said looking for a deterrent bark off the hose, like, like you want that bark, but not with a hose involved, like just at the house. Uh, that's definitely something we can talk about. Um, and, um, you know, that sounds like some civil work. Um, and I can definitely bounce that off of, I have fellow trainers I talk to all the time and I have a, a you know, a personal bike sport trainer that bike bounce stuff like that off of all the time so yeah we can definitely talk about that and um talk about your goals with that because goals are important um hello i've lost weight nothing but salad dude i'm running every morning making it happen and let's stop the nonsense before she, before she gets you bro hello definitely can't see it now yeah. what it sounds like. Are you able to host the doc? I didn't know you could do that if you can. Or nuts for the water hose and barks and looks so scary oh so you're looking you're looking just for uh kind of like a protection bark in the house like if somebody knocks or something like that or like in the car we can definitely talk about if your dog has potential for that um for sure that's definitely a conversation all righty she's back also Zay said, LMAO, if lost weight, nothing but salad, dude. I'm running every morning, making it happen, but let's stop the nonsense before she gets you, bro. <laughs> That's funny. And I said that you're probably up there already getting him. <laughs> I was, and he's like, oh my god, the delay is so weird. <laughs> I'm watching you, and now you're right here. <laughs> you realize I already left the door, the wind, the, uh, where's my wine? Shit. Did you go with me? I don't, probably. Oh, ouch, I got a scratch on my tattoo. That always hurts the worst. Ouch. I don't know if the comments are delaying because of the Wi-Fi. Hope it's not.
Is there any more questions before we get out, you know, this Malinois or any questions about this Malinois? Aye, aye, Captain. Dead air, dead air. What is your favorite part of dogs? Uh, the tail? Wait, some of them don't have tails. <laughs> what, what, what is the favorite body part? Favorite behavior? Part of owning them? Part of owning them? Specify. Specify that question. Because there is favorite parts about lots of things, <laughs> I guess. Owning dogs, your favorite part of owning dogs. Um, I really like owning something um, non-human that I can create such a strong bond with and learn from and also teach. Um, I yeah, think, that's a big one. yeah, both the bond and uh, seeing progress in an animal or seeing how you can actually like affect one another is really powerful to me and that's one of my favorite things personally. Um, yeah, same answer. <laughs> I don't know. It helps. It's fun to like. Um, just a very different relationship than you can produce with people. Right. And then just like watching, like they're also different. So when you have to change certain things that you do to like meet their needs and whatnot, it's it's fun. It's just kind of fun. Yeah, it's definitely. It, it, I always feel whenever I work with a new dog or even just a training session with a, a dog that I own or that I'm training. I always feel growth and I always it, it, it's very satisfying because I'm like wow I really developed as a person or a trainer or wow this dog really progressed and like that was because of me like it's very rewarding is what I think yes yeah. I really I really also love an animal that I can take to go do so much with that there's not really another animal type that you can species that you can do that so much right like go hiking and go for yeah. drives and cuddle yeah. and you know, go sit on a patio. All it, all, yeah, and, yeah, all of it. Very inclusive animal. Oh, I love that. This is Cat. He's here. This is the infamous Naked Cat we he's were talking grumpy. about. Oh, he's dirty, too. He needs a bath. No, he's so dirty. Hey, you dirty boy. He's little foot. He is very, very crazy. Very hyper. He's definitely made me want a sphinx. Wait, somebody, uh, meme said, sorry, I don't have an Insta, but here is the cat. I know, I never got to see the cat. Oh, uh, uh, Smokey! <laughs> there he is. He loves to show everybody his He's a show. He's also uh, now messing with the mirror and he'll probably wow. get in your face again. He is, he is the true center stage here. He runs everything. Smokey? He, he probably would get up there. Um. Oh, that was funny. He did get up there. The yeah, delay. He oh. Hey, see, there's that. That's the uh, prey drive that is potentially dangerous. He doesn't care that he's sitting right here. Okay, bye bye. Come here. So, wait, are you trying to show a picture? Yeah. Of so confused. I think they were trying to submit the dog, but um, I don't think you can do that on. I, I, I didn't think so. Instagram's really easy to get. You know, you could get it and you send need it to start me. a Facebook page. I am going to get to that. That is, I think that would definitely help people, especially a wider age generation, because mm -hmm. a lot of people a over. A lot of people, yeah, a lot of people, yeah. There's a lot on Facebook. Yeah. It's strange. Yeah, it's uh, That's much so strange, more common. It, it, I can't believe it hasn't, like, died out. It's a very common form of, like, information. It only gets bigger. You know, like, all the groups mm -hmm. and stuff like that. That's pretty, it is pretty awesome, actually. When you actually think about how much content can be reached off of just Facebook. Uh, someone brought up Catahoulas. That's a super cool dog. A tree climber. Yes, yes they are. Hunt, yeah. hunt things like hogs and cougars. Very common to hunt cougars. Oh. He's enjoying how I feel. There's featuring our mama rat. Yeah. This is Miss Mama Pants. What did you name? Um, Forget her. That name. is Persephone. Persephone, and she just 
I don't know. That's Calliope. That's Callie. Oh yeah, Persephone it's was Calliope. bald. She's been hairless, yeah. Um, oh, wow. She has babies that are not so babies anymore. No, they're down in there. They're teenagers. So maybe well, another five weeks. Six weeks. Oh, hidden teenager. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna bring out the girl. Yes. Get, just have to get rid of the. Gotta get rid of the angel the, baby first. The, the snack. He a whole snack though. He a big bowl. All right. Hey, Mama. This will be interesting. I know she's never been off leash in here, really. Not well, a little bit, but like Not getting intense. her feet, like getting her, like oh, she's not gonna come back here. Oh, I'm calling to know. So right. this is gonna be a thing. Your rat <laughs> is out. Yeah. No, she's just hanging on the bars. Yeah. yeah. I'm actually surprised she just walked away from this cage. Um, Leanne, no. I haven't seen this channel for a long time. Well, welcome well, back! Hey! Turby! She's very nosy. Well, I'm like, no, wait. She was, oh, yeah, out of a high, probably. Yeah. She was an outside dog, so she everything indoors is very new. Yeah. So, this is Torby. Her original name was uh, Sadi. Sadi? Sadi. And we, we went back and forth with wanting to maybe call her Sari. And we I mean, it was, yeah. It's so funny. I think it's super funny. Being a question hog, but I want but you, to figure out how to train an insane it. hose excitement bark outside of the house. Um, that's really hard to pinpoint, like I said, especially with something like drive and um, uh, civil work is kind of what that is. We're having the potential to bark at people or things. It, it's very individualized. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's, you need to get like a, a, a personal trainer. And that's what we would talk about is finding someone like our personal trainer um, for bike Well, I, I mean, I feel like, the, I'm not sure if that... I feel like the question... She asked me earlier about civil train, kind of about civil oh, train. Okay, so she, okay. wa she likes the intensity and the bark towards the hose. Wait, what's... Hose? Like an actual hose the dog yeah. gets excited for, and she wants oh, that in okay. the house as, like, a deterrent bark. And I was like, it's definitely something we can talk about, but it's usually through uh, a bite sport train or something like that. Somebody who's really good at bringing that stuff out. Um, yeah. And that's usually an in-person thing. Yeah, I, we're, like, I'm paying for somebody to teach me that. <laughs> exa exactly, <laughs> that's, thing. yeah. And like I said, that's something we would talk about. Um, I, I, I can't train something like that. I personally am not great at it because I just started it myself, learned it. Um, but also, that's not something you could teach over virtual. I can teach you all the other stuff, but I can help you get resources for the um, kind of like bite sports. Oh, I see. She, she, got, she made another the hose bark, hose barking. Uh, yeah, okay, I so when I when I fell fell swimming pool, oh my god, he's so happy, excited, off the chain, right? Um, but I bet I could use it to look like deterrent. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I feel like yeah, that's kind of like it that should one. be a lot of shaping. Um, yeah, and yeah. Um, so that at that point too, that's so that's a that's a. The trainer is what I'm learning is that the trainer you would get involved with is going to have to um, kind of tap into the dog and push the dog for his for the defense for his defense drive and like defense reactivity almost. Right, and um, like you're asking, no, it's not entirely crazyable, cra crazy. Um, it could potentially be possible. Like I said, I can't. We can't give you that answer. We haven't even seen this dog do any of this, so we can't eliminate if it's. Yeah, absolutely, or if it's a no, not at all. Um, definitely something, well, you know, I could help you guide guide you to somebody in your area that can help you tap into that, but that's something that is very particular to finding an experienced trainer who's really good at that, and um, she went through a couple before we found one we liked, you know, and that's the way it goes with all trainers, is a lot of the time, um, sometimes you just immediately click with the person, sometimes it takes a while to find what you're looking for, um, there, there is potential to find it. It's a possibility. Um, it's just something. Crazy, it's possible. Yeah, anything's possible. I definitely would find some like guidance that's in your area. About. Yeah, that's what she commented. It. Yeah, that's what I was touching. Oh, about. you already saw that. <laughs> She's like, bitch, I'm looking around. Hello, mama. She's a good lady. She really is. She's just, she is one of the most intense dogs. She's got a weird agenda. Yeah. 
Like this, she's not even sure about. Yeah, she doesn't know what she wants. We can really relate. Oh heck, I'll send you videos on Instagram. You'll laugh at a water hose barking biting. I'd love to see. I hope that one day you have a million subscribers because I think you are one of the best dog YouTubers oh, ever. Oh, thank you. I think we share the same goals. What is that, like the silver plaque? Hey. <laughs> Who knows? No, I think it's 100. 1,000. Let's get there first. Yeah. I'm down to get on a lower level with her. So she might come. She's probably ready to go Eight. outside. And now she's well, it's just um, Oh yeah, every, all our dogs are out. critters out on outside the, the door. How are the Bostons? They are wonderful. You missed them. Yeah, they were just in here for a while. If you just joined, you probably missed them. This new lady cannot be around the others. Yes, like this, this is our single lady. <laughs> yeah. She is single existence currently with um, distance. Socialization. Very distance. Socialization. <laughs> Especially until she's better uh, muzzle condition. Yeah, until we have a little bit more safety precautions going. Thank you. You're really gross. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, how Yeah, sweet. she had some issues, some stanky issues. Yeah, we got her and washed her for like an hour. It was more than that. Yeah, and she's still four very she's still diligent fucking washes just Yeah, and we bad. put her in her kennel in this room and this room she, we had to yeah. fan out and air out. She just smelled like mildew, like yeah. dirty sneaker, cheese, gross dog that lived on a chain for two years and never been washed in the rain and whatnot. Yeah, very Who very knows? very yucky smelling and but she felt so good after a wash and a blow dry mm -hmm. and a brush So is a lot. My daughter rescued a male Mal four months. He grabs my French chin by the back of the legs and goes for years. Should I be worried? Currently, he's at school. I would be a little bit concerned and not allowing of that behavior. Um, it also depends I mean, on how to play. Um, it's a, if it's a four-month-old Mal, I mean that's what that's what that is. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's pretty so. typical behavior. I just I wouldn't allow it. Um, because the more you allow it, the more it's going to increase over time. Not that it's necessarily a dangerous behavior, um, but mouths do often play very intensely. And especially with this dog, it's not French thin. That's a French. What do you mean by goes by, well, wait, what do you mean by goes by year? Goes for years. It's, and also, what does is, what is at school mean? <laughs> yeah, who's at school? The dog? No, no, the dog. I'm, the, I'm just amazed the dog is at school, but, but like, what school is it a like? Good, like, is that it very? Yeah, good schools definitely vary. What's the education? Where are they going? Yeah. What's um, the methods? If how is Mal, Creeper reacting to the Bostons when he first met them? Oh, he's fine. I mean, he was, he was a puppy. He grew so, up with them. Yeah, they were all older than him, basically. She is so sweet. She definitely can be. Yes, absolutely. She's she's sweet with us. With people, yeah, with people, she's pretty social. She's a little hesitant occasionally and like is a little nervous because it's she doesn't have a lot of exposure at all. Um, but she also is very uh, quick to recover and pretty confident it seems. Yeah. In in general, so so but with animals, it's that's a different story. It also helps that she's. Um she, I mean, yeah, she picks up really quick. She's adapted to her husband quite fast for the time of being a dog that was so unsocialized for so long. Um, but part of the reason she's much sweeter with us is she picked her up, and yeah. I was the second person she met. So yeah, she, right up, right up she, she associates us with, you know, freedom. What were the other questions? Uh, oh boy. The mouse, the girl. She's very manly looking, though. 
Okay. Oh, she wants to say hi. <laughs> Hello. She's not been <laughs> Which uh, dog is that? And she's so cute. This is Torvi. Um, um, so yeah, she just happened to fall into your truck. Fall into yep, my truck a little bit. Um, I came up. I don't know. I I opened my big fucking mouth. <laughs> she had she had to save her. Yeah, I couldn't leave her where she was, and um, she might make a lot of noise in a minute. <laughs> she was, yeah. But also, yeah, she, um, um, winding up at shelters, yeah, actually, yeah. Yeah, because... More, more so very recently. Um, the last couple years. There's oftentimes fads that go through with, um, dog breeds. Yeah. Um, like the, oh, the Disney dog dilemma. Yep, and that's when, um, dogs are used, a, certain, a specific breed is often, or is used in a viral it's movie. Mine. Mine. In a viral movie, you actually saw Mal Malinois went increasingly into shelters and into rehoming situations mm -hmm. when that military movie came out. What is that? Um, um shit. I actually love it, but it's... No, uh, oh, that was a German Shepherd. There's another one. Yeah, you're thinking about it? Legend. That one is a German Shepherd. No, no, no. No, no, no. That, that, well, that Iron Legend? No, no, no. That was, no. Right. Um, German Shepherds have been overdone for way too long. Right. <laughs> well, there was a recent, years. there was recently in the last like five years a movie released. Yeah, it was a boy rocks or something. I forget. Yeah, and he had Malinois. Military brother. Um, but it often happens when um, they're used in either media or a movie that goes really viral or is right. really common. Like the 101 Dalmatians, lots uh -huh, of people got yeah. Dalmatians. Or Air Bud effect. Air Bud, yep. Disney effect is actually what it's called. Right. So Air Bud, a lot of, a lot of golden retrievers got blown out of proportion. Which is also a lot, I, and I put this in a video at one point uh, with Gunner, when I first introduced Gunner, um, that, that was a, the reason why I ended up with Gunner is because he was a part of the Disney effect with dog breeds where he, somebody thought that I was going to, they were going to get a golden and it was going to be exactly like Air Bud and this like amazing dog and like they can be 100%. Uh -huh. But, but they it are doesn't a working just dog. It. It no, it's happen. not in, yeah, it's not in the... That's not how it works. It's not in the format. It's just like when you get a kid and like, cause you saw someone who had a kid and their kid was wonderful and they had a great Max, relationship. That's what it's called. Yes. Wait, it's called. Um, yeah, it's just called. Yeah, Max. And it's a Malinois movie. Um. I think it's just called Max. Yeah, but that's that's what happens is it becomes a fad and then people get them and then um, people who like money will breed will breed these dogs without a care in the world and sell them to whoever will buy them and then it becomes this chain effect where people who should not be buying these dogs are getting these right. dogs. German Shepherds have been blown out for years because so, of Ren Tin Tin, which was very, very long ago. It also was actually one of my, which was my, like a big time uh, show for back in the day when I was like falling in love with German Shepherds. Yeah, and Goldens were um, blown out a lot of the proportion because of, um, especially in the early 2000s, there was a lot of films, not even just Disney, but a lot of family films that used Golden Retrievers as family dogs, which was wonderful, but, and they are great well, starting yeah. breeds. And, and then Labs went up with uh, Marley. Yeah, with Marley and Marley me, and me breed, yep. breeds shut up, but yeah, the Hudgens. Which is one, funny because like Marley and me showed like how it awful dying. they are. It died. Um, well, no, but also it showed how shit. Like it showed a really bad dog. Like, yeah. Well, like a, well, and like the Danes went up with Marmaduke, and um, yeah. Marmaduke was literally always getting into trouble, yeah. which I thought was so funny as well. Yeah, and so like the hundred and one Dalmatians, and then Milo and Otis, all like you know, the pugs, the pugs shit, went up. Yep. Um, it's really common. All dogs go to heaven. Or right Get now, your dogs and German shepherds. doodles are being used in the media, so yep, people are going through one. that. Um, or what was the one? Th uh, or Sandlot. Pit people bought a lot of pit bulls. And yeah, and the Mastiff. Yeah. A lot, so that, that also came with a little bit with Turner and Hooch. That was a right. Hooch Mastiff. And, yeah. So any tips to keep uh, Boston from pulling on the walk? Heel work is not breed specific. That has to do with training, uh, pressure and release, and redirection, and correcting pulling. All, all great tools. Um, all, every, all four of my Boston Terriers have used a prong collar. That is another wonderful tool. Um, the only thing that works is dangling baking above her head. I wouldn't do that. <laughs> um, it's not the, here's the thing, it's not the only thing that works. Right, it isn't. We haven't tried everything. Nope. Um, she could have potential to come over her issues. Um, not necessarily overcome, but she could definitely be managed um, with the right owner at the right time. Or you know, talking about this one. Yeah. Oh, are you sure? Yes. Oh. I th I think she could have potential overcome her issues. If you're talking about her, 
she might not be able to overcome some of her issues. They could be managed and maintained to have a, an acceptable lifestyle routine, but not all all behaviors or dogs are fixable. Some are done just manageable. Oh yeah, no, she yeah, in the right hands. So, yeah, um, an environment. Right, it's gonna take a bit. Um, uh, but yeah, like I like I said, is some like like Dexter's behavior we were talking about earlier. He's he's lives a happy life and he lives fully functioning in this household. But certain behaviors of his are manageable. My dog with her separation anxiety, she's managed. She isn't fixed magically. She's managed. So things like this this prey behavior, um, good. C is being managed right in front of your eyes, where she didn't fix herself. She didn't this dog. Me. This dog would go blind of anything around for prey and now yeah. she's at a point where I just I, all I was doing just now to have her back off was vibrating so she's you can't see I don't know if you can see her on camera right now she's just standing so she but she's still looking so she's getting to the point of almost starting to fixate soon where so yep, she goes yeah. back in and if vibrates not enough so we're just give a little stem good girl um do you think a Shih Tzu would work with your Boston Terriers? I, <laughs> what? Zay said that. Zay, shut up. You're not getting a Shih Tzu. Why? You got a Shih Tzu? Um, military movie wasn't too long ago. A friend of me, a friend of mine helped, a friend helped produce it. I love Malinois, but it's way over my abilities. Yeah. Oh, it was that movie where that one celebrity worked with two professional Malinois. Oh, you're, you're talking about John Wick. Yes, it was so that no, no, movie. No. That, so yes, that one did it, but it started with Max. Max yeah. Wilder. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, no. Do you think you will get a pug or a Dalmatian in the future? No. no. F never. No, thank you. <laughs> I love the look of Dalmatians, but I have yeah. I, I, my no. co I had a client um, that had I know a very Dalmatian. very good breeder of Dalmatians, like a very like her, it, it like she has very like great well bred Dalmatians, and I know I've met her like main one. No, thank you. Like, it no. <laughs> um, th that's the other thing with the Disney effect is the overbreeding of certain breeds leads to really crappy genetics being produced and being very, very hard to then find good, healthy, solid, genetically sound dogs that aren't being produced that are aggressive. Right. And there's, or, I, like, I also just don't find it. I, at this point in my life, I don't care to have any more pet dogs. Yeah. Um, so, like, a Dalmatian really doesn't serve a purpose to me. So Yeah. Uh, it, uh, unless and you have ambitions. And a pug is... To me, in my opinion, below pet. <laughs> it's not even worth being a pet. To well, me. and I have. We like, also have different aspirations. So yeah, yeah. I am someone who particular. You can ask her. I say this to everyone. I have aspirations to make um, uncommon or unknown breeds. Like I like rare breeds, and I like breeds to um, work in sports or jobs or do tricks and stuff you don't normally see them in. Right. So would I ever? So you're gonna put a pug in my I'm not putting or a pug in my But if I ever looked. <laughs> A Dalmatian and I found one that was just absolutely That's top notch yes, for sure. I would definitely be like yeah sure maybe we'll consider right. it but I am not actively seeking a pug or a Dalmatian anytime in the future no <laughs> no <laughs> um, GSDs are confusing because people want to suppress drives but the drives are what make them special yep people like the look that's a huge thing with fat is people like the look or they like like those movies, they see 101 Dalmatians, see these beautiful, lovely dogs that run around together and they're all happy. That's not necessarily reality. Those dogs are highly trained to be in film. Well, yeah. 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 are confusing. I'm, I'm curious about what you mean by confusing. But also, because people want to suppress drives, not... Germans, I've... In my opinion, German Shepherds right now have, they're so overbred, and people are breeding working line German Shepherds, even though they're not, there's nothing, there's, they're kind of like, there's nothing, there's, super, some there's nothing super great about them. Um, they're, they're not really worth breeding. Right. Uh, that's worded kind of shitty, but whatever, it's true. Um, I'll, I, can, I, can, I can make the words better if you want. However, that's just how it is. They're not really worth breeding, and, but they're still doing it only because it is a working line German Shepherd. But um, and they're so they're breeding those, and they're still shitty quality. But they're still shitty quality quality working line German Shepherds, which is only doing a, a, a like 
bad things towards good work, good yeah. uh, working line German shepherds. Yeah. Um, and just in general, like you just just it's just all of it's getting overbred. Right, um, and that's what that, we're talking not about. All like German, not all German shepherds are high drive, high drive working German shepherds, even if they are working line German shepherds. Right. Um, right. Drive they, varies yeah. inside a breed. Um, and it's all, and, and it's, and it's, and it's very much, very much genetics. Yeah. Very much genetics. That's, yeah. it plays such a fucking important role that nobody cares about. A lot right. of people don't care about anymore. Um, and I, I Zay, shut up. <laughs> uh, he said, I love you guys though. Great work. Shari love said, you too, Zay. I grew up with golden retriever. Um, my dogs were great, have different personalities. Therefore they have different needs. So with each dog, do you need to work with each dog differently? Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, like you just said, each dog's different personality, different needs. So, um, you know, don't get me wrong. Sometimes dogs will have very similar or identical approaches needed, but not always. A lot of the time it's individualized to what that dog needs, what their characteristics need or so on. Um, what do you well, think? and also their needs don't really super duper reflect their personalities per se, if you really want to like get yeah. to that point. However, it's, yeah, it's the same, like, here, like, the Bostons definitely do not require the same as the Shepherds do, or, like, Nova does, or the, especially this dog here, yeah. um, what she should have, or should have had in the last three years, um, so, yeah, they, like, yes, I will take, like, you will see where I, like, we will take the bigger dogs out to do chuck it first thing that we want to wake up and stuff because they do require that and or treadmill time and stuff like that and the Bostons don't necessarily need that can they do it yeah they really like to do it yes but can do they need to do it like as much as the other ones no they're also no. just as, they're just as happy to like just be out of the kennels and like and run around and, the like, house like, and like couch or whatever and, rustle like, it amongst themselves right yeah or like well that toy that and, plays and off of different that. needs is sure. like our big stuffs aren't allowed to play in the house, like, right. hardcore. Right, exactly. Know? That's, yeah. like, where you Depending. saw in the beginning, Depending. like, they were told to stop after they got too rowdy right. because too big. they're too big, and the the Bostons are allowed to play in the house. So their their needs and right. their privileges bounce off of that. Right. And um, occasionally, like, there's, there'll be isolated time, very isolated, like, on my Instagram yet last night where a creeper was allowed to shred a box real yeah. quick. Yeah, yeah. Just to allow him to have that fun time really quick. And it's over <laughs> exactly but it's also very like just him and like maybe one other one or two other big dogs like hanging out that aren't that interested and it's just like a quick fun thing and then we stop it and clean right. it up and whatever but and move like, on yeah. yeah um people often put a lot of personal feelings on dogs saying like oh they need all of this they were reading a comment no like, what they need uh, a lot of people Who's are like saying? oh there's too much freedom or they why don't they get to play more blah, blah, blah. um Dogs, right. <laughs> if you look in dogs in the wild, like, like wild breeds of canines, like wolves, how often do you see wolves playing with each other? More or less than actually, like, existing with each what other. You, or What are you doing? She's like, I'm laying by the This door. was your time to come hang out. And you're Can just you know that? Lay down right there. Like, be a part of the club. And here, this is very, like, her. However, if once we leave, she's almost... She's almost consistently, if I, if I put her on, I have to put her on a leash to go through the house, um, she cannot be loose at all, at all through the house, and most, and will eventually be strictly muzzled, um, through any sort of the house if also. Yeah. Um, but she has to be on a very, very short leash to get through the house, uh, even with other animals put away. Two collars. Yeah, yep, and also, um, she's almost always on her hind end. Like her hind legs just like and very most, amped, more often than not no she's reason. one person isn't letting her out it's a two-person job so yep. one person's walking her out and the other person's making sure all other cats and yeah, what cats animals really outside way. stay away and she's like clearing like you just have, you have to like clear the way yeah <laughs> it's like those trucks you see on she the, like the road where it's like wide really, wide yeah. load yeah. and they have someone yeah. out in front of them or behind them and she she literally needs a convoy through the exactly <laughs> like through life a little bit but. all right what do you think of doggo argentinos and rhodesian ridgebacks i love well of both actually actually like the only bully breed that i would ever want to get again is is a do is a do I am obsessed with both of those yeah. breeds. Doggos, I would absolutely love to do sports with. I think they are insanely gorgeous. Ridgebacks have been our latest obsession. We have been we've bit, seen yeah. three of them, mm -hmm. 
-hmm. And two of them are at our club. Uh, they don't work at our club, but they live yeah. next to our club, and we see them, you know, they actually are farm dogs out there, and we love it. It's oh, so awesome to see. Yeah, they're beautiful working dogs. Um, she said, uh, honestly, my fantasy dogs, but also no way similar to Malinois. Yeah, the, the Argentinos and the Ridgebacks. Oh, okay. Um, what new breed do you want next once you get a new dog, and what will you name it? No idea. She probably wants a Shepherd. So, <laughs> yeah, my next, if I, what, like, down... A very long road <laughs> from now. Purposely get, bringing another dog into this house. Purposely, this isn't exactly purposely. Right. Um, it would be. It would be another probably female German working on a German Shepherd. Uh, another another creeper type dog. Um, that would come out with very titles. And yeah, if anything, the only other thing I would consider would be it would be another would be a male a puppy. So yeah, but starting from the ground up. Yeah. This yeah. I this definitely is, was not, I was not ever uh, planning Because we've been talking about a mouth for probably about three years now. Right, and saying like it would literally would, this would be, be our goal. years down the road. And oh. we, because <laughs> we have talked about um, our ultimate goal for like sport dogs is oftentimes directed towards a mouth which is what she is, um, but we've always talked about co-owning one because it, like, like we've been talking about the whole time with her, she is so much work that, um. It would take two. <laughs> take two to tango for the first time. She is the first male either of us have ever solely handled. And it's a lot. It's definitely something you need practice with. Um, but for me personally, I don't think I could pinpoint a specific breed. I think it would depend on what sport. I, she's more into bike sports um, and work, working, like, protection. You, she, you also said, like, when you first moved in here a little bit, you were like, moving in here and living with these dogs right now, like, I've kind of realized how much I don't really want a German Shepherd. Uh, yeah, I, I love our Shepherds, for sure, but, um, I don't like the, I, I don't click with the personality. They are, she, it, she loves it. Oh, They're, I thought it was the hair. Well, that too, <laughs> disgusting. <laughs> First of all. Um, but she, they, she wow. likes, she likes the mouthy, loud behavior, and I definitely prefer, uh, more quieter energy. I like, I like heightened energy, but I like it, it's it's hard to explain. I'm very specific about the energy I'm, I'm comfortable matching with the dog. So a male is actually more down my alley if I was going to go into that. Um, but it also depends on the sport I decide on because I'm very much into exploring all different sides of the dog sport. So if I went to go do like, if I wanted a dog that was multi-purpose, I would look into a dog that could really range in their skills. Um, and that would come down to breeders as well. Um, Hi, how are you doing? Can I say, I saw slash met my GSD's parents, entire family situation, got to evaluate entire pack, people pick dog online, it's crazy. Yeah, it is crazy. Yeah. Um, is I, that Karina? Yeah. I, I would I, I really want to see your dog and stuff and like, talk about that. Yeah, I'd love to do that. Um, I apologize, I don't know the answer, but did you adopt out the Boston puppies from months back, or did you keep them all? Get one. No, 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 I only kept one. I did, I, so I had the, so the breeder, the, my friend, who was also the breeder of Zuko, um, she had a very lovely home lined up if, that she helped me rehome the, the, one of the puppies and, um, oh. was ready to help the other ones, because this was definitely an, act, like, I've, I've brought that up before, it was very much an accident litter, um, and there's a video about it so but <laughs> but also uh the and then the other one went to another um like family member of a friend of mine so no. that, and then i kept the one they're going me. pretty so i can and we still and rollo is the other puppy so and he stayed back be, i didn't rehome him no. because he had uh neurological issues per se so like we're just we just watched it she thinks she's drinking one too she's part of ladies night Okay, that's enough. Wait, she's, she... That's so weird. You're so weird. <laughs> you, you she let it. You let the dogs kiss your face. I that's don't, not why I it's gross. It. You let her drink out of your cup, but it's weird to me that she likes it. Oh, <laughs> she <laughs> likes it. They thought it was gross that she took, like, she, like, her tongue touched it. It's like... I sure. That's Thank so God. weird. And she so, well, it. okay, I'll do that, but I want them to You're fucking so kiss my face. I, I just don't like Boston it. Boston Army over here. I have a Boston. Okay. 
Pokey channel said I have Boston. Boston Terrier! Bostons are really special. My reactive GSD likes Boston Terriers. Not sure if that's my influence. I love human kids, and he's bulletproof with human kids, too. It's probably about exposure, if he's been exposed to a lot of Boston Terriers I or a lot of kids. Name. Jamie Ever... Ever, right? You sound like your name looks familiar. My husband wants a GSD, but I don't think we have the experience needed for one. Trying to convince him to get a Boston for us, Boston. I would um, find a trainer. That's I mean, first. you have to start somewhere. However, it's just like, I mean, yeah, what is your, I don't, like, what's your lifestyle? Yeah, I would look at your lifestyle, and if you are really interested in getting GSD, I but would. If you're, like, hardly home, no, it's probably not. Right, I would look at your lifestyle, and you can Which also. It's also probably not super fair for any breed. <laughs> Right. Adult. Absolutely. Um, yeah, look at your lifestyle, see what your day-to-day -day life looks like, and then consult a trainer. Be like, I'm looking for... Lots of trainers are more than happy to help you find a puppy. I mean, I don't know if how long you've been on here, but you can more than welcome to DM me on Instagram. I'm a trainer. I help with that stuff. Um, more than happy to help you go, okay, what's your lifestyle look like? What's your schedule? What are your goals with the dog? What are you interested in doing in your free time? And help you pick a breed based off of that. Um, I always recommend a first time like intense it looks breed so owners. Stupid. If they're really committed to doing Stop it. Stop it's like that. If they're really committed to getting an intense breed and they are willing to do what it takes, looking into a trainer that will help you assist being prepared and ready with that breed. Um, cousin and I have Boston Terriers. Cool. I wish I had oh, a Boston. Shit. I swear is it just me or are Boston Terriers hyperactive? Uh, I'm just looking because, like, Alex was like, the Wi-Fi just went out. But, well, it, but it was, like, 1210. It's now 1240. Like, we, I, did we have an issue? We didn't no. have an issue. No. That's funny. Yeah, um, it might have been where the lag was, but I don't know. What? You don't click with GSD? <laughs> yeah, my that's boy. You. If my boy came and rubbed his forehead on your forehead in the morning, your heart would melt. Well, I love our dogs. No, yeah. <laughs> I, I love our dogs. Don't get me wrong. I baby it's the full life commitment. It, you know, I, I love our dogs, and I'm doing, I, I'm willing to do what it takes to work them. Like, if anything ever happened to her, yeah, I'd keep these Have you ever held a, a big old, fluffy, yes. stinky German yeah. German puppy? Mm. Yeah, like last week. No. <laughs> maybe not, maybe not. That was not eight weeks old. It yeah, was, it was. No. Yeah, it was. No. Um, I, it's not that I don't like them. It's just it's it's not my personality style. I'm more interested in, if I was to go that route, I would go with something like a that Belgian. That was a trauma puppy. <laughs> a Belgian or a Tavern. I love Tavern. Ew, like I don't. Something I'm no, into. No, thank you. I love the long hair. Why are you so itchy? Come here. Um, We've got two thingies on. Okay. Boston Terriers are kind of easy to teach if you're looking for a dog. I wouldn't say easy to teach, but they are definitely fun to own. Yeah. Do you guys still have your Boston Terriers? Yeah, we just put them away. Yeah, if it, yeah, if it, you just probably popped in, but I'm sure you're yeah, able to scroll cool. back in this They're video here. and see them. You can, yeah, you can scroll back. Um, I still have all my dogs. They are on. just like the awesome Dexter, hyperactive. Uh, duh. Yeah, Boston. true. And, like, don't get me wrong, like, this dog particularly, I absolutely, I love her. I'm actually really curious right now, like, what, um, what do you want next? I don't know. Well, because you were, like, I've talking been about really, you were, like, all right, I want a sport dog. Like, you, I've been your really next dog, you thinking, definitely want a sport dog coming up. So. I do. My next dog is for sure going to be a working dog. It won't just be a pet. Um, but I, I really am going to start looking into breeds, but I want something that I can do dock diving, agility, barn hunt possibly IGP with, now known as IPO. Um, no. Other way around. Oh, yeah, IGP. Fucking Joe. God damn it. He's a specific Right, girl? But um, I want a dog that has a wide, and, and the thing is, the, the thing that's hard is my current dog does have a lot of potential for everything but I, IGP. Um, but I... I don't feel it's fair to her because of her age. Not that I'm not willing to try all that stuff with her, but she is three years old, and she loves agility. She loves playing in water. We do all that stuff for fun, but she's not a dog that I would compete with, whereas I'm looking for a dog that has a wide variety that I can compete with. So I probably it's, it's would look... A, yeah, it's going to be a more enhanced lifestyle dog. Yeah, something like probably along the lines... Dog, however. I've definitely looked into... Um, what is it? What is that breed that I talk about all the time? The little ones that are like Border Collies and the curly hair. And I always forget the name of them. 
Oh my god, it's not a brick. It's not a key town. It's a um No, it's not a key town. I don't like <laughs> It's a rare breed. I'm into rare breeds, so I look for rare breeds to do sports with and to own. Um, but oh, uh, what's this breed? I don't know. Oh, wait, no. Uh, Is it Boucher? Yeah. Oh, Boucher. Yeah. 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 Um, Collie like breed, or I think it's Curly. You gotta read these comments. Okay. Uh, curly coated. I was trying to get my, my mac and cheese started. <laughs> You're so funny. Um, do you guys sell your muffins yet? Uh, I used to have a Rottweiler pit bull. That is quite a dog. Okay, so here's Karina again. The other kooky thing with my German Shepherd dog is I Rafi DIY Afco Balanced. Uh, that sounds familiar. I have to look at that. He usually stops halfway through. Halfway, oh God. Halfway through eating and comes to rub against me before returning to meal. Won't eat unless I'm in room grateful. Uh, I would, I would, I wouldn't really go f as far as say grateful, but more of like codependent, which is very German Shepherd like. No very matter what. Grim, yeah. So gr creeper, grim and creeper. Grim being a shit bred German Shepherd versus creeper is um, supposed to be a very well bred German Shepherd. They're very different, uh, but they both have those very much codependency uh, issues, <laughs> issues, um, Velcro doggy type stuff. Uh, and it's not healthy. I, to me, it's not very healthy. However, that's not a big deal. As long as you're there, that's fine. I mean, will he starve himself if you're not there? Or like, you know, I, I, I feed everybody in a kennel, so that's not going to happen here. Right. So, and, and even to the point where Grim, I, I don't do, I, I changed it with Creeper growing up so he wouldn't do this. But Grim almost won't eat out of the kennel to an extent. Like he, he gets weird. Like he needs to, he wants to be in his kennel to eat his full meal. Um, so I don't know. That's, uh, I don't, sure, maybe, maybe some grateful. Like it's kind of weird. If that's a pattern, I don't know. Is that every meal? Is it every day? But if it's just kind of like, you know, occasional or he just needs a break, that's one of the reasons why I like raw feeding too, because like typically, um, it slows a dog down from scarfing food because they have to kind of like eat it particularly differently, um, which is which is good for their digestion and just in, instant. Uh, oh, sorry, I saw pizza. <laughs> um, yeah, no, raw 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 can be very good to slow a dog down as well. Because they do have to eat it. So I'm important. trying so hard to find this breed that I oh I literally am always obsessed. Apparently, with Apparently, it's not that important. To I am always a muddy. Oh, I don't. A muddy. That is the breed no. I want next. Um, that I've been. I've not that I for sure want next, but I've been thinking about because they are similar to a border collie. They're smaller. What does that look like? And they come in brown. Ew! It looks like a fucking skipper. I it love like it. They're so. so that dumb and gorgeous. I followed someone that I, I lived really close to when I lived in Minnesota and she had two that were international trick dogs and she traveled all over the world with them because and they were so small and easy to fly with and yeah loved it. Is it me or is it me or Dexter ju just as fragile and cute? He's not fragile. Uh, <laughs> I mean he's not really that cute either. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No um He's not that fragile, but yes, yes to both, kind of. Yeah. All right, let's see. Have you noticed Boston Terriers getting anxious if their best friend just passed away? Just passed away. My parents love. So yeah. So I I haven't experienced that. However, there is definitely um, when you in, in a pet situation and whatnot. Any dog, not just a Boston Terriers, obviously, but um, if they have lived with another dog for a very long time, um, they, the humans do not are not the only ones to mourn the death of a pet dog. Yeah, like the yeah. dog mourns it as well. So it, yeah. I think it's important that people do the pet dog owners understand that and. Um, it's important, just like a so. human, uh, yeah. similar, not just not like, mourn, yeah. but similar to a, a human grieving, you want to help get them out of that rut. So going for more walks, doing more, you know, fun games, stuff like that, getting them to play. Um, yeah, help kind of just distracting them a bit from their feelings. Yeah. They're being dogs, yeah. they're not humans, 
being dogs, it's it's a little bit easier than than, than most. It's kind of like a two year old. You can right. It's the same thing. Like oh, you know, if your whatever family member or whatever passed away, like they went away. They're not really gonna. You're not gonna see them again. Right. But, you you, know, it, it's they don't understand the concept. Ice cream and they go to the park. Right. And they play baseball and like whatever. You know. So um, and they they forget about it pretty quickly. But um, right. But dogs do more in the 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 emptiness in the house. Exactly. Um, that's why another reason that like I personally I like my dogs bonded and I like how we run our house that all our dogs though they they most likely if one of them passed away would definitely miss each other yeah, yeah, yeah. but we don't keep them bonded to each other partially for that reason you know besides the behavior and training aspect and the health of themselves it, it's it's more helpful to not have dogs completely reliant on each other because then things like that do happen um, Oh, hell, my GSD's best friend is a long-haired GSD. Owner has to trim paws, hair, and Nova gets a groom once every month. She, they do a sanitary t- toes, face. No offense to your friend, but I wish that long-haired GSD's would go, go away. very, very far away. Go away. I w- they, t- in my they tend to be really neurotic. Hi. In my opinion, it's not a GSD. <laughs> It's almost like the it's almost like the the Tavern, whatever the heck. I love it. the Tavern. Like like compared to a Mal, like I feel like it should be just a different fucking breed. Cause they're like, very different. It is different. It's they're so different. different. They're way more low drive. Like okay, like and when people are like, and no, they tend to be more nervy. They're crazy. They're, they're crazy. It's like no no no. They're Don't nervy. compare hi- like hyperness and stupidity to to like an actual drivey dog. Right. They tend to be more neurotic. Um, muddy. So. Uh, oh. I could have been bad. Um, a muddy, what were you saying? A that, go- that's bad. Can't <laughs> That part. Um, what is, is that what you said, a muddy? A muddy. It's so it's M-U-D-I. It's M-U-D-I, right? Yeah. yeah, M-U-D-I. So um, it's really rare. I have never even heard of it. It's a herding breed, uh, and they're super freaking cool, and I'm, I want to work with one. I, and that's another thing about a breed that I'll own next is I need to get my hands on one and not own it before I decide if I want it. I'm going to work with it with someone who has one and get experience, like meet with a breeder and see her dogs and interact with them before I even make a decision because I don't want to just go, oh, I like how that dog looks or I've seen some cool videos of that dog, now I'm going to get it because then we already talked about what happens when you do that. (laughs) Like this, we both wanted a male and then we ended up rescuing one and we both realized this is not something we're ready for. (laughs) Well, uh, well, I I knew, like, one day I thought, like, it would be cool to, like, be able to dedicate to a male. Right. Definitely didn't want a mal anytime soon. Right. But it happened. Can you take this one? <laughs> She's like, no. You can have that other piece. But Going like, to am for more size for a moment, but Bostons are emotionally sensitive in my opinion. Lots of breeds are, but are, but some more than others. I definitely well. think that um, some breeds are predisposed to things. I wouldn't call it, well, it could be sensitive. Like Border Collies tend to be more nervy and stuff like that. Um, it's not, it's more like they, they pick up on your, on the human's emotions. Yeah. So they, they have a tendency to be sensitive. And then like, if you don't manage that in a sense of like, uh, not allowing them to pick up on your emotions, i.e. managing your own emotions around them, then yeah, they can definitely be sensitive. Um, but also like the thing with breed standards is not every dog fits into that box. No. You know what I mean? Like, this is a Malinois. She's, she's not, that. yeah, she's intense, but she's not crazy energy bouncing off the wall 24-7, like, climbing the wall right now. Like, not every breed fits in the just ideal the box of standards. This pizza was just put down. When I see, <laughs> yeah, she definitely thought that pizza was a good time. Um, and I normally wouldn't, but... Because it's the kind of dog she is. Yeah. I'm literally like feeding her some of the crust just to keep her away from eating this piece. Because <laughs> she is a uh, low key garbage dog, kind of, you know, like Gosh, she came. destroys my skin. She came from literal nothing. Literal trash. She's liter- like literally living in trash. So she's a little bit tougher <laughs> than the average dog. 
Haha, <laughs> hundred ha, percent on what I said about long haired GSTs and I won't share with my friend. <laughs> LOL. Good couche. Good couche. Um we got fourteen people on here, so holy cow, it's fun. What's the dog you wanted that was dumb? I want to go look it up. Oh, the one that you didn't like. The Moody, yeah, a Moody eye. No. No, I don't think that was that. Because I don't even know what, I'm not even like super familiar with the Moody. Right. Oh, a Tavern. Oh, yeah. A Belgian Tavern. They're pretty much a Malinois with long hair. But the drive is very different. It used to be, I think it used yeah. to be a part of the same standard. I think a Belgian Tavern and a Malinois were the same thing, and then they broke off into their own breeds um, because the Tavern started having much different drive than a, uh, um, than a Mal. How do you spell that muddy exotic breed? Just curious, never heard of that breed. Would like to check it out. M-U-D-I. It's an AKC recognized breed. It's not common. I've never met one in person, ever. I, why do I have a thing for breeds that look like mutts? I don't know. It's so weird because I'm such a purebred person and my dog looks like any any other, any other shelter mutt you would have found in the 90s. In a shelter. Hey. Good. remaining questions How many about we got? 17 okay 17 all right guys let's finish any finishing questions you have oh. it's our uh, crew member <laughs> <laughs> um yeah any remaining questions about anything we talked about tonight or anything we haven't well hopefully just things that we haven't that we have talked about because <laughs> I don't have time to drift off to anything. I have to sleep eventually. What day is tomorrow? <laughs> Tuesday. Oh, okay. I have beautiful Nikki in the morning. Do, do, do. You want pepperoni? Yes, I do. Eat the piece if you want it. Well, bring it over here. Please. I loved this live stream. I am so glad. We will definitely look into doing more in the future. Good luck with it. She's coming. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. I don't have any so hungry. She's a bitch. No, oh, look at Yum. No. <laughs> Come here. Hi. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. You're so funny. Oh, don't, she's, don't look at me like she's that. She's smiling like a little trash. She's like, I grew up with nothing. I know she does that. You had everything. I'm so poor. Hey, stop itching like a trash dog. So I can't help that. I can't tolerate it. Um. Any opinions on Connie Corso? Meh. Um. Nervy. Nervy. Really hard to find a well-bred one. Very hard to find a well-bred. And they're really hard to maintain. Yeah. They're a very intense breed. If you do find a good one. I wouldn't even call them intense. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Someone I'm gonna let her guard down. <laughs> I see. I see. No, I no. Cool shade. Oh, great obedience. Um, Belgian Tavern and a Moody. I've never met a doggo, but slightly slash obsessed slash dedicated. Oh well. What? I've never met. I've met a doggo once. Oh, a doggo? Mm-hmm. Not a doggo. I'm like doggos. Look, this is not what dogs. Do doggo Argentino. Okay. Stop looking at me like you are dying. We feed you. 
You get treats literally every day. You got fresh baked Kirkland's chicken yesterday. Yeah, she got like a whole chicken breast. Yeah, yeah, more than. Yeah, you spoiled still some rotten. In the, in the thing. Um, thanks ladies. Next time a happy hour on a weekend. Yeah, yes. that would be much more appropriate. <laughs> yeah, so that's what we're gonna aim for next. Yeah, uh, earlier but, and then on a yeah, on a weekend for sure. Um what is today? Uh Monday? Yeah, because I need it's yeah. Well no, it's Tuesday. No, I know, but Monday I meant Monday. Monday. Yeah, because I so need to say Monday night. Because I don't have them, but I remember seeing you on YouTube. Two years ago, but not subscribing, but then found you again and subscribed to watch all of your videos. Keep cool. it up. Thank you. I appreciate that. We love talking to people. It definitely is a great time. Now that we're eating at the end of it. Yeah. Talking burns a lot of calories. Maybe that's what you think it can. She's going to take you out for that pizza. She's literally going to eat me. I'm literally going to let her because I would take you out for that pizza. Alex, if you're watching, which you're pretty sure you are, I still want my fucking, uh, my mac and cheese. <laughs> my Aunt Annie's or mac, mac and mac cheese mac and was on the roster? Uh, for, I, I had, I was like, oh, I have a box of white cheddar, I think it's even shells. It was 101. Aunt Annie's mac and cheese, and we do have to give Floki his very expensive $20, $20 daily injection, nightly injection. Yes, he is. Yes. Uh, he said, "Ugh." <laughs> oh, Alex. Yeah. <laughs> ah, I. Your pizza was not a fucking like. You substitute. did a great job. Check how Robert Serbel politely asks for super chat dollars in the future and thanks. It was fun. Okay, yeah, apparently I apparently need to agree. Research. I okay. I, yeah. Thank you, honey. Very much. I'm appreciate. looking to hear from you on Instagram. Let's talk more for sure. Right, and um, please come back and ask questions. Absolutely. Don't ever feel bad. No, we love answering them. They're super fun. I, I'm glad this was a success. We will definitely yeah, this is fun. We'll definitely do it again in the future. It felt weird. Preferably. It felt weird the first six minutes of the original one that was not working where we were No just, one was there. We felt so was lonely. There for so long and we were just like this is But it's cause we had uh, made it restricted hello. so no one could see it. No yeah, it was unlisted. <laughs> I didn't really forgot that part. Right. We had one more thing. Uh, thanks for the live chat. It was the best. Absolutely. We are going to cut well out done. now. I'm, thank you for watching. This. Yeah. We would have only been talking to each other <laughs> if no one showed up. Yeah, we do that enough. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alrighty. Over and out. Yeah. I don't know how to end it. <laughs> I don't know how to end it either. I think it's the X. Oof. I mean, on lives, aren't you supposed to do way to show off? It's not a mirror, well, uh, Alyssa. I'm sorry, my brains are good getting in the fat. <laughs> um, an X right there. Wait, who's the 15 people? What is even going on? Get her, Torby. Can we even see who was in it? Normal. Well, we're still here. She's <laughs> gonna drink my wine. She's an alcoholic. An alcoholic Belgian. That's. That's very typical. <laughs> Us. All right. Goodbye. That was awful looking. Oh, she lips. caught it. Wow. No, she, yeah, she's she's she catches. What are you doing? <laughs> I have no idea.